it's time for Cogmind and Chill. So, um, we're finally not going to be playing Player 2 mode. We've been doing that for the past, like, month or so since that release. Yeah, I guess it's been a month now. Um, been a lot of fun, but I guess we'll go back to regular runs now, having done a number of those. So, uh, Cogmind and Chill. Yeah, I, I say that because I don't really have a goal for today's stream. I'm just going to, like, play around with whatever we find in the regular mode. Um, didn't want to... Uh, honestly, actually, around this time of year, I was planning to stream the 7 DRLs, but um, the reviewing apparently has hit um, a roadblock. They're just not able to get over the last hump this year. Maybe I, I should have joined. I don't know. But um, uh, yeah, so those reviews are not out yet. Um, so we can't start just yet. So at least for this week, we'll be uh, playing some more Cogmind and yeah, doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shoot, trap! The most exciting time of the day has finally come. <laughs> well, I can't. Yeah, I can't guarantee today will be exciting, but yeah, it will be chilling, maybe. Um, hey, welcome, B Sen Torpid Dissonim. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really have a goal. We're just gonna do whatever. Uh, find whatever parts that uh, we feel like using. You know, see whatever kind of events we meet up with. So that means using more branches, I guess. Hanging out in the branches and seeing what stuff we find, because that's obviously where the game gets uh, even more interesting. Uh, I'll grab legs, because it's not something I've been doing a lot lately. Um, impulse gun. But yeah, we can also just talk about whatever else, too. Like we're, This won't be a particularly fast-paced uh, run, either. And I'm happy to answer questions and talk about other stuff, as well. Pick up other stuff, why not? We can get another storage unit or not. Or we can just blow his engine up. Yeah, that works too. So, yeah, beta 10 is well underway now. Got uh, made making a lot of progress the past couple weeks. One of the major features for beta 10 is now complete all of the new drone mechanics and uh, drone bays we're getting. Still a lot more work to do, though. It's going to take uh, some months before Beta 2 is out. Or 10, not 2. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, what else? Mm, grenade launcher. All right, I guess we'll drop some of this other crap we've got here. Get rid of our wheels, grab some grenades. Feels kind of lonely without Player 2. <laughs> I've been uh, rather enjoying having another player around. But nothing we really actually right. Let's get some schematics just for the hell of it. Oh wait, actually, I don't know. I think we're not going to bother. You. We might not. I could probably use. Um, let's get. Uh, okay, let's go for the large storage. There we go. Let me get a large storage schematic, even though it's not too important. And we could jump into the mines here real quick too. ECM. Uh oh, I think there's a sentry coming. Nope, it's green grunts. Uh, eventually we'll get you. Huh, didn't have any friends. Oh man, I'm gonna, well, I was gonna chase them down, but nah. Let's head into the mines. There are gonna be some new mines encounters in the next release too. Um, yeah, several new derelict encounters so far anyway there'll probably be even more by the time I'm done with it but just so happens that we needed a few more for some of the new content <laughs> oh darkness my old friend oh let's see something is scanning the area all right I guess we'll go to the exiles and see what they've got for us right all right they're probably not down here but I'll look real quick all right the exiles, is, as you might recall, are generally on the bottom or left side of the map, just to how the generation works. So it's an easier way to find them. If you're in trouble, right? That's not the exiles. Okay, they're not here. They must be on the other side. Killer hornets? Oh yeah, the murder hornets. <laughs> yeah. Player two will be missed. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll probably play some more player two, I'm sure, eventually, because I really like that mode. It is fun, but also, I don't know, we're probably getting 
uh, out of uh, out of practice with like playing on your own. I mean, she's playing with uh, player two all the time. They can do a lot of the work for you. <laughs> it's it does make things a bit easier. Obviously, it's got its challenges too. Whoops, I shot the wrong spot. It's got its challenges too, uh, different kinds of challenges. But um, in a lot of ways, I mean, they can really uh, carry you. So it's also a little easier in that regard. You don't have to worry quite as much about uh, your survival until, of course, uh, whoops, um, player two does, does something really stupid and gets you killed. <laughs> Oh, we ran out of legs. It's okay, we've got treads. Oh my... Whoa! <laughs> okay, let we'll take care of these guys real quick. Uh, yeah, the murder hornets. Those are pretty crazy. I saw those made it to the US. <laughs> actually, it had me looking up murder hornets in particular, because, I mean, over here in Taiwan, I was wondering if we actually had those, because they're from Asia. And... Uh, and we do have a bunch of massive, um, really scary looking hornets that tend to make nests right outside of our windows every year. And uh, yeah, but apparently they're generally pretty, uh, pretty like na not, na not that nasty. They won't really mess with you and they don't behead bees <laughs> like these crazy murder hornets do, uh, which is pretty interesting to see pictures of. All right, so uh, wait a minute. This is, uh, this is also not the exiles. So we're still going this way. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, where's the eggs house? That's not the eggs house? No, that's just an open room, which means it's not where the... That's weird. Wait, is it up here? No, didn't see that edge. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think we missed it down there. They are a little hidden. <laughs> I think it's down here. Get out of the way, dudes. No, um, no, that's not it either. Huh, weird. Oh we, missed, oh, we missed something down there. Amusing. Here it is. It's around this corner. There we go. Exiles. Yeah, they're hidden. Hey, squared. All right. Um, let's just go see what they've got in store for us. Finding events. Yes, yes. I confirm. I confirm. Rig nuclear core. All right. As soon as you see these cores, you know that they weren't attacked, because if they were attacked, these are gone. I like picking these things up, even though I guess we actually don't have enough storage space to carry this stuff out of here. Right? Eh. Oh yeah, we're also hopping on one leg now. It eh, doesn't really matter. We'll just stick with our, our one leg hop. Hi, Braun. Random lore. Oh, yeah, I guess if we want their stuff. Well, we came here to look at what's here. I guess we can get Farcom. Could also consider stealing from them. We had a whole run about that before. Um, we have done most runs by now at some point or another. Well, the runs that I can do anyway. I'm not very good at uh, faster runs. Flight stuff, I mean, and hover. Let's see. And I'm sure there's some more achievements we could look through. Uh, let's see what kind of storage they've got in here. If they have any. Wait, it's not up here. It's over here. Storage. Matter pods. Bunch of matter pods. Oh, there's a small storage unit. <laughs> Actually, it'd be kind of nice to carry a matter pod, too. Why not? Uh, I don't think there's... Yeah, there's no more storage up there. I can check down here though oh here we go here's medium storage medium storage humpbacks humpbacks are kind of crazy i don't really need that much storage and that much weight but uh they are actually pretty decent i think in the early game because of just how much integrity they have but you just got to be prepared you might lose them um and and you know, you can't get used to having quite that much storage capacity, even though some players can keep it going for a long time or end up using them for uh, much of their run. They are, they do allow you to carry quite a lot of stuff. I mean, an inventory increase of 20 just from one of these things. Uh, that's right, it takes two slots also. <laughs> 24, also pretty slow now. 
what would it be? Yeah, or 200. Yeah, plus 20. It's double slot, though, A squared. Um, and so the double slot, and they have higher coverage. Look at that. Uh, currently, their coverage is 21%, um, which they're like our armor. Uh, so this will get blown off fairly easily, and it's kind of dangerous to use uh, for a lot of builds. But I could use it for a little while. I mean, it's something I haven't done actually pretty much ever is used humpbacks. Hmm. Obviously better for builds that aren't going to get into quite as much uh, combat. Not that we really need that much space, but I'm pretty happy usually with just an average of two large storage on my builds. Alright, I want to find out what they've got in here, so I guess we got to do this. Yep, okay, give me the code. We got the code. What do you guys got in here? Boom. Let's get their names real quick. Oh, they got the lobotomy kit. I guess we did we did have that in one run that we used. We ended up lobotomizing like pretty much behemoths the whole way to the surface. <laughs> That's what we used it on <laughs> and won that run. Uh, what else we got? The AWS auto cannon and the guided plasma cannon. Hmm. All fairly good. I think the plasma cannon actually does break down eventually now as well. I think. I actually forgot. But anyway, um, the auto cannon I think is really awesome as a, a nice back. Well, obviously, both of these are cool. Any opinions what we want to take? Who wants to take one or the other? I mean, feel the bottomy kit. They're both really good. They can both get you out of trouble. I think people probably like the the lobotomy kit. The FLK is what it's called a little better. Desinims is FLK. <laughs> um, oh, A squared, you were asking about the zero x zero times that. It, it goes up to eight. It's not newish. Um, the star is if you're literally over 10 because it won't increase the number of digits here. This is set to a certain number of digits. In fact, quite a few places in Cogline's UI are set to a certain number of digits. Um, not quite, well, a number of labels are, work that way. Um, it allows for easier formatting in the architecture and also just the look of the game. So a lot of things that go over the number of digits that are allowed will switch to a star. Uh, obviously, there is, those are extremes. But you'll see that in a number of labels, especially in the parts list and stuff like that. But yeah, so yeah, eight is normal though because it's still one digit. Oh, <laughs> you yeah, just randomly went from something like overweight four to over ten. Yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, the FLK is pretty awesome. It is god tier. I mean, you can even get NPCs on your side with an FLK. So we'll take the FLK. Actually, well, I mean, we could take more than one if we wanted to. We can fit them all, but and the auto cannon is nice. Obviously, we get then in trouble for thievery, but eh, let's keep. Uh, let's just keep the um, Barcom. Yeah, they're telling us to stay out of research. Oh, you played Beta 7 last? Yeah, it's, that, that was a while ago, especially considering Beta 9 alone. And the Beta 9 series has been going on for, sheesh, it's over half a year now. <laughs> it came out, I guess it was September, wasn't it? I mean, there's obviously been a lot of special modes and big stuff released in between, but they technically were all Beta 9. Technically, but yeah, a ton of stuff's been added since then. Certainly with Beta Nine, I mean, Beta Nine was a massive uh, update to Cogmind. Same with uh, an audio recording. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, uh-oh. Um. All right. Farcom is telling us that there's a lot of explosions going on over here. I think I think it might be Mr. Crazy over here. Oh my god, and he's really mad. <laughs> Does that mean he's going to want to kill us? <laughs> um, for sure, Ace Grid, all the special new modes, yeah, all of them are like pretty much new games. A lot of fun. Like the Player 2 mode I've been playing for the past month. That was, that was good. All the modes have been, I think, worked out pretty well. He's just sitting there, destroying everything. Yeah. 
He's. I hope he doesn't. Is he mad at us? If he's mad. Actually, wait. We could use the FLK on him. Oh, there he is. Uh, he is hostile, <laughs> and he has now spotted us. It's crazy. Uh, you. Um. Hmm. Is he even hurt? He's not even hurt. Dang. Kind of a waste of FLK? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, if we're trying to optimize... He's still for there attacking and killing stuff. Wow. Is, is he? Damn. He's going to head over here in a second. Uh, I actually don't even have any other... He's going to tear apart our humpback, though. He knows we're here. He might have forgotten about us already, though. I mean, he is crazy. Could let him just... Oh, no, here he comes. I was going to say we could let him clear stuff out, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's just shoot him. Oh. I'm sitting in his face so that he hits himself, too. Even though he's mostly resistant, it'll at least hurt him a little bit. He's going to tear us apart, though. 40. Use the FLK and chop him up for the God Tier Matter storage. Oh, yeah. See, Johnny Cash has a good idea. That is actually a good idea. Um, that is, yeah. If you're trying to optimize, that makes a lot of sense because his uh, matter storage is amazing. Uh, I mean, obviously, we'd have to then get him out of here alive. I already heard him, but yeah, really, I think we should use an FLK on him. Dude, chill. Should have done that earlier, I think. But anyway, I mean, he's he's pretty good. Uh, now to chop him up efficiently, we should really get a plasma cutter, but I don't have one of those. Um, hmm. Uh, EM has similar salvage, but he's probably going to would have blown off our EM pulse gun. We only have one EM pulse gun. That's like all we have. He probably would have been destroyed before we got him. Oh, that's your. I mean, we could use it now as well. Oh, we found Zion. It's at sub level seven there. It's always a fun place to go to pick up stuff to play with. Maybe we should do that. Um. All right. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's use our pulse gun on it. Actually, wait, what does the pulse gun have for salvage wise? It's plus two. Oh, not terrible. Obviously, we could hit his engine and get really screwed up. But... Yeah, yeah. His salvage is going up and up. Oh, what the? He didn't lose. Oh, he hit himself with grenades. So he's not going to leave anything. Yeah, it wouldn't work. Take him to ZDC. <laughs> yeah, that would that would take a while. We didn't find the shortcut design. We just found the, the uh, log telling us where it is. You know, no, it's at the sub-level 7 there. Also, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, he didn't leave anything because he hit himself with the grenades. Of course. Like, several grenades. <laughs> Golem is a natural Farcom synergy. That's true. I haven't done Golem in a while, too. Uh, maybe we could do that. Uh, I guess we'd have to see if we have the capability, but... Yeah, Golem is pretty fun. I only ever done one Golem run. Um, and actually, sadly, the Golem run, uh, the conclusion to that wasn't uploaded to YouTube. I forgot to upload it. <laughs> it was deleted. That's like one of the things you're missing from the records. It's a good run, too. A winning Golem run. I was wondering when that thing would find us. It was zipping around really fast. Oh, actually, I was going to say we can get some legs. Do need some spare propulsion. Yep, you guys are all dead. I guess take your guns, why not? Oh, look, we found something. Oh, check it out. 
Hello, LRC V3. What is your command? We got some allies now. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the archives are incomplete. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was. I didn't even notice that actually. And I got a, a message on YouTube at one point um, uh, asking where the second stream was. <laughs> that was like uh, several weeks later. And I was like, uh, well, it should be there. And I looked and it's not. Like, whoops, I completely forgot. Whoa. Yeah, those explode. Go right through the wall here. Find an exit, but rather than finding the exit, let's look around. Oh, we found another exit. Okay. Oh, hey there. Oh, yes, I'm carrying a mining. Yeah, no mining laser. Yep, yep. Okay, sure. Right, mining laser. Okay. I guess we'll head to Zion then. Oh, we can finally get some more stuff here. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to go for another propulsion slot and another utility slot. Oh, wait. That's right. I forgot. We came out of exiles. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's get a third weapon slot then. And also another utility slot. Hmm. Guess we can drop on a leg real quick. Oh. Found materials, emergency access points three. Not exactly a whole lot of those in the early game. Wouldn't even have any other utilities, but on weapons, just regular old stuff. Melee analysis. I'm just going to pick it up because we have a ton of inventory space. Our humpback is still alive. Alert is pretty much zero, but oh well, it's gonna try and purge it anyway, just to make sure, absolute sure. Didn't work. Yeah, let's get rid of that friend. Oh shoot, he's going around. Oh, there they go. All right, you guys. Do, oh wow, that guy got chopped to pieces. Oh, he got chopped. They're all dying. All our friends are dying. They're all dead. Wonderful. They killed nothing. No, pretty much. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Dude, die already. Stupid impulse gun. I'm. I don't really like impulse guns. Beam caster is good though. Let's use that. Ooh. Structural scanner. Actually, structural scanner is actually useless for us right now. Oh no, it could it could help us find traps. That's it. Otherwise, it's useless because um, we already found got the derelict log that told us where everything is. All the uh, emergency exits, access points. If we walk into the hall, we get spotted. Oh, free sensors is so nice. Where are you guys going now? Oh, around the corner. <laughs> Could also just pop out and kill them all. Die, die, die. Yeah, that's right. What? Oh, this dude just stole the stuff I was picking up. Shoot, it's gone. Oh well, we've got the other engine. Oh, I wanted to pick up that engine there. Give up your secrets, hauler. There we go, prototype energy gun. Should do some more hauler hunting this run, that's for sure. Something I don't normally do a whole lot of. All right, let's find out what these are. Improved medium laser. All right, well, not terrible. Oh, the others are not improved medium lasers. Oh, they're faulty. That's what they are. Mm, heavy particle guns. I mean, hey, it's a bunch of prototypes. Why not? Oh, our inventory is actually full. Huh. Oh, we can get some more treads now, too. 
Oh, that's right. We also have those rigged engines. Got to remember the stuff we've even got in our inventory. And way too many legs. Um, let's get rid of a couple of those. Wow, we need a botnet <laughs> or some hackware Ooh, armor. Not spotted. Boom. Dragged him around the backside. And he can't alert anyone who's outside. Guess yeah, we ended up. I was starting on legs, but we're on uh, treads now because of the um, back. Obviously, let's grab one of these engines. Ooh, heavy ion engine. Sure. Uh, let's see. We've got a nuclear core. We have a bunch of rigged stuff. Huh. Kind of liking the humpback. It's staying staying together well so far. Hey, plastic heart. Yeah, mode treads. We are now in treads mode. We're only overweight one with a humpback. Boom. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's what we need is... Uh, oh, no, it's just an engine. Oh, yeah, here we go. This guy. We need a machinist on our side. There's an alarm trap down there. Large matter pod reactive plating. Let's get out of this room. It's a pretty active room. Kill all you guys up here. In the hallway. Oh yeah. Oh, we're actually pretty hot. <laughs> the armor and all of our thermal weapons here making us very hot. Guess that would be annoying if something bad were to come of that. Mm. Yeah, armor keeps our hump back intact though. Actually, speaking of that, huh, oh, there's an EMP blaster over there. Uh, hmm, maybe we, it'd be nice if we could get the humpback schematic and just play with humpbacks for a while. I don't know. Seems like a good way to get our inventory spilled all over the place. Uh, let's see, we are headed out of here. Um, yeah, I guess so. A fine step. So I ended up saying the amount of utility slots three legs enables gets really nice in the mid game and the speed ain't too shabby either. I guess that only works though if you're going to stay light enough so that you don't get too slowed down. Um, I think that that definitely can work out. That's, I don't know. I think, yeah, it's certainly something some, some players love to do to the tripod build. Maybe we could try that. I haven't actually ever played a tripod. Whenever I use legs, I always go at least five or six legs, but you kind of have to stay lighter. I feel. All right, let's see. Uh, we've got two slots here. Um, all right, we'll go all utilities then. For now, we're, uh, with this humpback, we pretty much need to stay on treads, otherwise we'll be slow. Normally, I would have gone right through that door. Um, yeah, for sure. The, I know uh, legs at, at uh, one times overweight are actually pretty okay. They're still even faster than treads a little bit, though, only. It also depends on what treads you're using, but you can't really be guaranteed to get really good treads like that, um, or at least faster treads. Oh, uh, is it micro actuators? Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Should have attached another heat sink before he came out the door. Since we clearly knew... Uh oh we're going to get reported. Huh. Critical meltdown. Damn, we're melting guys with this build. Nice. Well, they got uh, heat transfer medium, medium, medium. Three mediums melted a sentry. Heh. All right, let's see. Uh, so we are in the center west part of the map, and we do know that Zion is at this depth, and that's where we would like to go. So let's head for that. He's a great sword. It's kind of big. They're pretty good, though. Hmm. Or humpback. I'm going to have to replace that soon. <laughs> Oh, assault. I mean, uh, here we go. Let's um, check out this. Oh, prototype energy cannon. All right, let's find out what that is, too. Oh, here goes the hunter. Great. Oh, shoot. We're not going to be able to fight him unless we make him come in here. <laughs> Hello, commando. Wow, critical meltdown. <laughs> he melted down, too. <laughs> We've got, like, a meltdown build going. Hey, Phenom Fear. Nope, not playing Beta 10. I'm just playing the regular old uh, uh, Beta 9.6. Um, Beamcaster is medium transfer. All three of these are. All right, let's find out what this is. Um, yeah, they're doing pretty well. Advanced Beam Cannon, also medium transfer. <laughs> Um, let's see. I need to get rid of these rigged cores. Probably not gonna. Don't want to carry those around forever. It's gonna be, end up being a waste. I have two melee and elephant suites. <laughs> you end up carrying around a lot of junk when you have a big inventory. I do anyway. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Um, I actually, I generally go with uh, kinetics. I mean, I'm pretty much, a, I'm a, I like kinetics a lot. Um, so I haven't used a lot of thermal for a long time, in fact. Maybe we'll play some thermal this run. Because um, I was thinking about that as I look at this Gauss rifle and, this, and advanced assault cannon, which are normally things that I would pick up and use immediately. But um, yeah, maybe let's try a thermal build. I mean, they can be fun. Obviously, it also depends on what you get, but I'm going to grab this cannon anyway, of course. We do need still need spare weapons. Yeah, it's certainly fine stuff. There's, there's not necessarily going to be oh shoot, equivalents at all depths, but um, yeah, let's get the advanced beam cannon. Uh, but uh, yeah, different weapons can hold their own. Oh shoot, we're getting blocked. Actually, they're not blocked. Oh, uh, shoot, we were reported anyway. <laughs> Scavenger has told the programmer that we're here. Freak. All right, get over here. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> Grab mag system melted. <laughs> Hacker destroyed. All right. Oh, yeah, we have an extra slot here, too. Mm, we could put on more armor. Hmm. I'm curious if we should scan the humpback. Actually, heading east here is a bad idea. I, I really, really should go north. Heading east will take us through the center of the map, where we would probably die. Well, oh, shoot. Here comes an ARC. Dude, get out of the way. Oh, no. Okay, he's going south. Oh, there's more patrol to the north, though. All right, they're leaving. All right, I think we can get through the walls here, maybe. It's a beam caster. Can we not get through the walls? 
28. Oh, dang. No. Uh, we have a great sword, but it's hard to pull out a great sword. <laughs> and that's fine. We'll pull out a great sword. Oh, now we've been spotted. That's right. This is the same room. Um, special weapon. That worked out rather well. Now we're on the other side of the traps, too. <laughs> Tone says, always scan the humpback. <laughs> yeah. Um, Phenom's asking, do I do kinetic builds because of late game bosses? Uh, no, no, um, I just do them because I like them. Uh, uh, I like matter-based builds. Um, let's see there. I mean, you can do, they have a higher, generally it can do more damage. Uh, obviously, they can also just sometimes do less damage. There's a higher damage range, uh, but they have a much further attack range. Um, and, um, you know, why else? Uh, then you also don't have to worry usually as much about heat. I mean, obviously, you have to worry about matter then, but it's just, I don't know, it's, just, uh, it's not necessarily an optimization thing for me. It's just something I like. Oh, here it comes. Oh, did we get spotted? I think we got spotted. We got spotted. Here they come. <laughs> we were half spotted. We weren't fully spotted. Dude, get out of the way. All right, now you guys need to die. Oh man, there's an ARC outside. This whole room could explode. Oh, now we're overheating. We're being... Okay, they're dead. <laughs> we're being... Uh... Yeah, our, our build has... He in, it can dissipate its own heat, but getting going up against grunts is a bit of problematic. And you're not really going to overheat grunts either because they've got their own dissipation. What's that dude doing just sitting out there? Here he goes. Dude, he just stole that leg I was going to pick up. Wow, all right. This room... Got busy. Oh, wow, this is a major important hallway here, huh? A lot of people using this corridor. What, are you coming You're coming in here seriously? No, no, oh, he was thinking about coming in here. He turned around. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, Kerospace confirms. Grunts are the biggest problem for heat builds. <clears throat> hey, really? Um, no love for Player 2 today? Yeah, I, uh, I was mentioning earlier, um, I've... Certainly been enjoying the last month or so. We'll play it again later, but I figured it's time to get back to playing a regular run. So yeah, we don't have player two with us. Um, oh yeah, the other thing about kinetics, and back to that topic, is um, the critical. Uh, I really like um, getting critical hits as well, and obviously kinetics are, are better for that. Grunt is just like sitting there. What is up with him? Is he like overheating or something? Oh, he wasn't in a fight though. Oh, all right, we're gonna get reported by a watcher in a second. Oh, there's an angel up here. Whoa! Oh man, I want that angel. Oh, that's the grunt that was. All right, yeah, gotcha. Let's kill that worker. Oh damn! Look, it's a shoot trap. I don't want to get stuck in that. That's why there was an angel coming. Damn. Too bad. Couldn't take him out in time. Anyway, yeah, if we could find a uh, scanalyzer, I would scan the humpback. It might be kind of interesting to do. That said, we might end up losing it first. <laughs> Grunt is still going to chase us. Armored treads, heavy rocket launcher. Mm. Damaged but decent stuff. I'm not going to bother with the treads. That's a little bit too damaged for my taste. There goes the Grunt. He lost us. Oh, here comes an ARC though. Oh, shoot. <laughs> now we have an ARC. And, oh, the ARC got blocked. He's going around the other side? Where's he going? K 
can't resist. Oh, shoot. I want the AR ARC needs to open. Open, ARC. Do it. Now. Open. Oh, come on. Took forever. There we go. The ARC. I wanted the ARC to open so I could blow it up, right? <laughs> Shoot trap. Funny. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a garrison nearby. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. There's a garrison nearby. Well, it could have been an exit. It's more likely a garrison, though. It's true. Uh, yeah, so now there's a garrison active. Oh, there it is. It's to the north. Um, let's see if we can slip around. Oh, shoot. It's the engineer. Get out of the way, dude. Oh, he's, gonna, he's trying to fix that wall. Out of the way. Okay, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Got spotted anyway. All right, fine. Well, these guys can't hit us from range, so I'm just going to like... Oh, shoot. Uh, they're both bad. There we go. Get you. And get you. Nice. Oh wow. This is an exciting little area to be in apparently. Yep, I was waiting for that one. Oh whoops. Okay. Uh flat gun maybe? Get out of the way, dude. Yeah, I think we should leave that corner. I wanted to go actually take on the, uh... No, whoops. Shot in the wrong direction. Wanted to go... Shoot, there's no one. Take on the garrison. For the hell of it. But now there's even more attention here. Our alert is going up. Now we're not using thermal anymore either. And here comes a programmer. Uh, shoot. We've got another one where those came from, don't we? What? Oh, I already put them both on? We have no other armor. No. Oh. Hmm. My bad. Hmm, advanced beam cannon was actually pretty good. Oh, now we're going to end up using kinetics. <laughs> oh, we're about to lose our storage. That means time to attach other storage. <laughs> Technically, we should also start dropping stuff. Ooh, that we don't need. Wait a minute, where'd that go? It's over here. Whoops. What? Oh, never mind. It's already rigged. <laughs> Duh. Humpback's gonna go. Nope, not gonna take my prototype energy gun, dude. All right, we lost it finally. Ooh, oh, no, I'm not gonna drop my FOK here. Eh. Yes, I'm ignoring all of you. <laughs> the old disabled items don't reactivate, Trav? What? <laughs> yeah, I, I had forgotten that I wasn't actually the one activating it. They were already rigged. Which is nice. <laughs> I haven't used rigged, rigged drones in a while. It'd be nice to be able to... to oh, I just threw my own grenade launcher. All right, it's okay. We've got another one of those. I'm actually doing stupid stuff here, obviously. We should not be attacking the garrison. Dude, just die already.
Oh, that's right. We can now go on to legs as well. Well, there's not going to be many pretty legs left after this, but... Um, we no longer have the humpback, so... I don't have to worry about the weight. Let's see, what else? Uh, we might end up on the greatsword in a second. here. Yes, we're still attacking. Ouch. I was just going to pick that gun up and it blew up from under me. <laughs> Finally made it. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Fine then. <laughs> we made it to the garrison. That was that was the goal, sort of. Uh, oh wow, we're kind of low on matter here. Let's see. Oh, there's a grunt coupler. Huh. That programmer was carrying couplers. Hmm. Let's see if we can find anything inside here. Um, let's see. It's for, uh... Go straight for retreating, I guess. All right, just getting some more squads to dispatched. <laughs> Advanced weight redistribution. Yeah. Guess we should leave this corner. Looks like we might be in a dead end area though, which means we'll meet more enemies on the way out. Not gonna have enough core to make a design at this rate. Um, speaking of, let's actually come on, give me that. Um, branch access. Come on, come on. Yes, we found it. Zion is really far away. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's way down there. Bottom center of the map. We are at the top. And the far right side. Okay, well we now have a direction. Let's hope we don't meet any enemies. Because there's a lot coming. Oh, this thing's been busy. It produced a bunch of arc projectors and high-powered shotguns. Hmm... Oh, shoot, more friends. It's got more. It's got improved arc projectors already loaded. That's those are good. Um, <clears throat> if there were no enemies, I would certainly want to go with that. Uh, you know what? I don't know if we should force overload this thing. I was thinking of force overloading this thing. Fine, we would just tell it to do that. Actually, can it still build after it's if it's overloaded? I think it can't, right? That's not something I've ever even tried. I haven't been overloading for a long time. Um, oh, okay, that's not gonna happen. It'd be nice if we could tell these guys to go away. All right, let's see, what else do we actually need here? Oh, you know what we really need is to purge alert. <laughs> Zero percent. Okay, that's not happening. Um, let us do a buy that for later. And other important stuff we can do. It's not really going to help that much, but actually traps would have been better, but we don't have much of a chance here. Like to kill that guy first, but it didn't happen. Wow, a shotgun missed and hit the guy in the back. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, God. More friends. Guess we're just going to have to kill you all. Oh, shoot. We're going to run out of matter now. Uh-oh. Bad news. No one warned me about this. Oh, man. Uh-oh. All right. I guess. All right. All right. We have the solution. Solution. Yes, <laughs> I warned myself by coding the matter warning. Exactly. Uh, really, the, uh, the solution is the greatsword. 
Oh, the other guy's running away. Yes, of course he is. All right. It's significant disruption. Okay, that's actually really bad. Oh, we got some matter here. Oh, chopped off his gun too. <laughs> now I wish I'd gotten all those great swords. Um, yeah, wouldn't have been able to carry them, but I guess we can pick up some legs here. How much damage is that? Light your core. Pick up all this stuff. Uh, crappy flat gun, we don't need that. Oh, actually, wait, no. Duh, I need to replace our leg. Give her that leg. Attach another leg. Watch our matter, and we're gonna, I guess, stick with the greatsword here. But sheesh, I don't think we're gonna actually make it to Zion. Oh, there's a spear over there. Ooh. It would be really nice if we could recall the assault, but you know, the chances of that happening are ridiculously low. All right, purge threat is a direct hack, though. So we're going to go for that. Oh, yeah, double purge. I'm not going to bother with a third. We've gotten really way too much attention so far. Improved melee analysis. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go for that. Improved melee analysis. Shoot, get rid of the system shield. Give me another improved melee analysis. Check it out. We're the ultimate greatsword build. Not really, but... Uh, quite true, Destin. We could have put on the system shield before hacking. That's not... I don't want to walk all the way over there to grab it and then back or whatever, but... <laughs> Double first loaded seed for sure. <laughs> hey, that's not... It's, oh, actually, wait a minute. It sort of is. I was going to say that's not seed-based, but... Uh, after... I think I think that it's now seed-based... Or some of the hacking is. Uh, it's been a while since I, I did that in a whole revamp of that system, but I think it is actually affected by seed now, um, which would be a good thing. Core analyzer. Oh, here comes the assault. All right, so that's the assault. It's coming straight for us. We can't do anything about that. And what's the question is just where you want to be when it hits here. I guess we could wait by the doorway. The problem is there's, somebody's going to come in as well. There's an engineer. I almost want to hit, hit, I almost just want to whack the ARC, but it, it, we probably won't, we won't be able to kill it, and it, it won't really help us, so. And here we go. Oh, damn. It's a fighter. It's two, it's a whole, it's what? It's four. Oh, my God. It's, oh, man. <laughs> this is where you wish you had kinetics, because that's the other advantage of kinetics, especially the cannons. Uh, I mean, particularly the cannons, because they knock back uh, enemies now. Um... If we had a bunch of them right now, they would have more trouble getting to us. But yeah, this is pretty funny. It's a, it's a melee war now. <laughs> I've got, I got my great sword and three melee analysis, and they've got four. I got four swords. It's four swords versus one big sword. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, fortunately, we don't rely on matter. Um, our coverage, unfortunately, is not really advantageous here. They're gonna hit our sword a lot. Hopefully we get them before they get our sword. Oh, wow. All right, we got one. They really damaged our sword already. Please, please, no, no. Oh, we have a spear too. Actually, I could put the spear on, but it's, I need to not do that right now. Okay, we lost everything. <laughs> Don't chop me up, please. We did pick up that spear. Damn it. Now here comes another squad. Great, great, we're so screwed. An improved melee analysis in the ground. There's a leg that was chopped off. Um, damn it! There's an engineer outside. All right. Ideally, in a, I was thinking of strategy-wise to chop through the wall and so we can get out, head out here and just fight one at a time. I technically we're only fighting two at a time, so we could kill the guy to the north first. But I was, I was worried those grunts were still armed, but they're not. Okay, we actually... Damn, I think we just ran out of propulsion. <laughs> Fortunately, we're not really heavy. But we do need to kill this guy before we move. Both of them, in fact. This grunt is also... Yes, I'm not. Oh, man, what a crazy beat fest. Hmm, that didn't work out very well. Well, being alive is good, I guess. 
Yeah, we're down to 232 core after that. We have no coverage. I can't see us making a design on... Oh, well. Actually, hmm, that's unfortunate, because the only exits we have identified are uh, caves exits. We can still go through the caves. I guess there's that's still a possibility here. Um, actually, put on some micro-actuators, too. Actually, our, <laughs> damn, they didn't drop any of their swords. I really... Or axes, what were they using? Um, it would have been nice if they had. Out of the way. I'm actually going to take a little bit of time to look up here. That is not very fruitful. Oh, no, it's a patrol. Oh, God. Yeah, well, at least we're not in terrible shape anymore. We're just in bad shape. <laughs> Yeah, you step through the door, you die. Well, I might miss, but you die too. Oh no, oh god, this guy's gonna beat us to pieces. Ha, I also got a mace out of the deal. Oh, actually, wait a minute, put on a leg instead. Don't need a signal interpreter anymore. We already know pretty much what's going on. 216 core. Oh, he got a small laser. Attack of the small laser. All right. This is, seems like a bad corridor, actually, right here. We get spotted again. Wonderful. High capacity storage. Hmm. We sort of need that actually. First, we need to get rid of this guy. Now we're just trying to stay alive. Still have that field lobotomy kit too, technically. Uh, let's see. Clearly not going with the uh, hmm, thermal build anymore. At least not for now. Shoot. Another one. Hmm. Damn, we're really far away. These guys are going to spot me as soon as I walk out of here. That must be like a corridor or... It could, it could be a room in there outside, but... Do we risk it or not? Uh, shoot, I risk it. Cooling system. Kind of want to pick one of those up. Ouch. That ARC is going to find us really quickly. Oh, here comes the programmer. What? Oh, wait. Crap. That was unfortunate. All right, we now have a programmer friend. <laughs> Phenom says we only need one core. Not to make it through caves, we don't. All right.
All right, we should be able to make it out now. Probably. Oh god, <laughs> there's a lot of guys over there. Looks like there's no door here though. Good. Should be able to slip through. Our programmer friend is gone apparently. I thought he might be able to make it with us to the caves, but apparently not. Probably don't really need a purge alert, but oh god, that's not happening. Yeah, we don't need track. We don't have anything after us. There is a huge wheel here. Um, drop the Gauss cannon and one of the shotguns, I think. I'm trying to, you know, wait, the practical gun is low. I'm trying to, don't want to keep the cannon because we need to. We need it for, uh, or it consumes a little bit too much matter. <laughs> hey, Cora. All right, so I think we're finally ready to make it out of here. We're going into the caves with 142 core. Good thing is, it's going to drop our alert. Bad thing is, we're in the caves with 142 core. Staring at swarmers, but we have a rocket launcher attached. Wow, this might hurt us. There we go, let's hit over there. Uh, die. Thank you. Did exactly what I told them to do. Grab their matter. Don't really care about the engine. Can burn. All right. Well, I wanted to spend more time in the caves but I guess we're not going to be able to do that. Wow, check out our utility loadout. <laughs> Two ma improved melee analysis and three different targeting computers. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty funny. This is a very weird build. It's very weird. I guess I should also put another gun, which... Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, we're only overweight by one. Dang. Hmm. We might actually... No, I guess we can't solve that by attaching something else. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, we do need to attach another weapon to help protect our core. Just wait till we meet up a heat. Sadly, Farcom does not help us in here. Whoa. What happened in here? Oh, <laughs> I always love that. <laughs> I can always figure out what happened here. Yeah, the, it was extracting traps. The minesweeper was extract, extracting traps here and uh, got itself blown up. That's pretty funny. And also, this leg is from his friend. Because <laughs> the minesweeper uh, often has a, a grunt guarding it, and uh, the grunt got blown up too. So this is the leg left over from that grunt. <laughs> Occupational hazards. <laughs> yeah. Not the first time we've seen that one. Always funny to find. Figure out what happened there. All right, there was a grunt over here. I don't know where he went, though. I don't know if they were headed west or if they headed northeast. And we're already out of their view pathway. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna head straight west, straight west. I am very, still very tempted to go to Zion, but oh, check it out, we the exit already. Oh, a derelict log. What logs did we get? Factory machine intel, we found factory, found factory trap. Oh, damn, we got all factory machine intel. That's pretty nice. And all trap records. Damn, the next factory floor is gonna have quite a lot of info on it. <clears throat> Yeah, me too, uh, A-squared. A-squared says, those who loves about games uh, like this, there's an ever-evolving world you can explore. It's uh, it's really cool once you have a lot of multiple types of um, uh, different encounters that can also interact with each other, too. I mean, obviously, sometimes that can produce nonsensical results, and so you try to, try to deal with those or avoid them, but uh, still, there's a lot of immersion. 
which is uh, really fun. And that can, you can only you only really start to get when you have a lot of different systems and events interacting. But yeah, self-contained ones like that one there are especially neat, unexpected uh, little things you can find. All right, so the question now is, do we forge ahead to Zion anyway or retreat? I guess one option, you know, I, obviously we're risking proxy caves then on the way back. One M, let's see what we got. Uh, one option would be right now forging ahead to find the exit. And if we find the exit without having taken any core damage, and I don't need this exit, I need the other one. Um, if we make it there without taking any core damage, maybe we could risk it. It seems like in that case, though, we'd almost need to get imprinted so we can get an escort if we don't find an escort in Zion anyway. We did find an exit. This is the one I was going to take. If we're really damaged, we can take this one. Our build is weird right now. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, we have plenty of matter. Actually, wait, we lost our inventory matter. I was carrying around the matter storage, and we don't have that anymore. Once we lost the humpback, that got dropped. This guy's got the matter. Oh, yeah. Impact weapons corrupting things to death. Impact can be pretty good. Unknown storage. Hmm. I'm assuming. Oh, we can't actually even see what that is without uh, removing a processor. Um, it could be large storage. I don't know. Not impossible. Mainly because I do kind of want a regular storage unit right now. Um, let's see. Be hard to use almost any of this stuff. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, we can't get imprinted, as Fineseb said. You don't see the point of going to Z? Uh, well, I mean, the original point, the reason I wanted to go there to begin with is because we already knew the low depth, and just because you can get fun stuff to play with there. I mean, it's not guaranteed to be there, but uh, certainly it's risky. Oh. A strange signal echoes through the caves. <laughs> I haven't actually gotten that one on stream before. Yes, we are maybe saved. We gotta deal with this dude here. Shoot. Ow. Where the hell are you, dude? Strain signal, man. Strain signal. Where's the strain signal? Where's the source of the strain signal? Oh, we got hurt. Uh oh, damn it! I think I need to take this guy out myself. <laughs> Killed him myself. Strange signal echoes through the caves. If you hear that, help is on the way. Now we're at a dangerously low core. <laughs> um. But hey, look at that. We crushed it. We killed him through the corruption, too. That was actually pretty effective. It's just a regular old mace, too. Huh. Yes, nice. We found the Zion exit, which we knew was over here already. But a makeshift spear. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine step pointing out the important things like the fact that we're walking around with a heavy rocket launcher and 8% corruption. <laughs> yeah, quite true. Bad idea. We do need to rebuild a little bit here anyway. Um, let's. It was nice to have it on when we came in here, though. Yeah, that could actually really mess us up. Even more so in this state. Also, huh, I wonder where uh, our support went. Oh, look at that. There's scrap inside this thing. 
Unknown storage again. Hmm. Heat flow error. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a huge risk and go through the proxy caves. Huge risk. Huge risk. Or we're gonna like misfire out here. Uh, watch us misfire and kill this guy. Be funny. No, this is a guy that drops self-destruct interrupters. Hey, that's not something we really need to worry about with this build. Yeah, let's get our corruption scan uh, get uh, taken care of first. All right, that's our code from there. Zion terminal. What is? Oh, this dude here, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else going on out here? Yep, yep, okay. Scan us again, sure. Boom, let's see what we can find in here. Anything that will help us survive. Actually, we still have FLK, remember? Uh, we only have three shots left, though. Oh, no, actually, do we even have just two slots left? Yeah, we only have two shots left. One of them, actually, because we were corrupted, one of them misfired and, um, and wasted it. That was sad. Uh, the second one took out that programmer, which was very effective, I believe, at the time. Basically saved us. Obviously, the auto cannon would have saved us too. <laughs> Not seeing anything specific so far. Ooh, an improve a oh, trap extractor in good shape, but yeah. What do we get? What's this guy? Looking around. Eh, just talking stuff, yeah. You look for the stationary guys. Oh, here we go. Wait. wait. Eh. Can we get anything from the south? Yes. Uh, another makeshift spear, a titanium leg. All right. We'll take your titanium leg and a large storage unit. Ooh, that could come in handy. If we need to carry some more stuff out of here, which I think we might end up needing. Yeah, let's get, well, I, know, I almost, I don't, don't really necessarily want to get rid of the other melee analysis suite. We're kind of needing those things. <laughs> what else is in here? Uh, makeshift spear, a bunch of makeshift stuff. Yeah, salvage targeting, terrain scanning, a makeshift sword. Another makeshift sword, system shield. Shrapnel gun. Uh, I never knew about. Uh... Oh, you didn't. Oh, you were reading the. I didn't even read the dialogue that we talked to the guy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, there's you can um, get tips about secret mechanics and interesting things by talking to the NPCs. But, and it's also random, so you won't get all the same NPCs every run, you know, as you know. So, uh, you know, different runs, you can learn different stuff. Um, uh, I'm thinking, actually, we can go full melee here. Which means we want this make your sword. I don't know, I'm really liking this mace. It's actually kicking butt, but I don't know. It's It's been doing quite well so far by just corrupting people to death. <laughs> Which is makes me kind of want to not replace it with a sword or a spear, but actually, well, the damage damage wise, the sword is definitely more impressive. What is wrong with the Marxist makeshift sword? Uh, <laughs> oh, minus targeting is one thing, but we can overcome that with our melee analysis. That's that's the main problem with the sword. It's not as good for targeting. Otherwise, it's pretty decent. In fact, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't even have a delay. Hmm. Yeah, makeshift spear also. Worst targeting. Alright, we have two damaged rocket launchers here. 
Um, yeah, yeah. I, I recalled, figured what you had seen, uh, A squared, the 25% uh, damage reduction. But getting inside of um, shield, uh, for, of uh, stasis type things in general is actually not bad. Um, Judas is asking, is it better to stack the same type of melee variety or is it a variety okay? A variety is fine. I mean, it really depends on your goals and what you think of each of the items in particular. Plus, as you can tell, there's uh, the percent here is the chance that they'll do a follow-up attack. Um, so some weapons, depending on their speed, will be more or less likely to do a follow-up attack. Obviously, a faster one's more likely to do a follow-up attack. So, and, But you can also have other utilities that you can combine with this. We don't have any of those right now, but it can allow you to increase the rates of that which allows you to overcome maybe one of the weapon's deficiencies. It um, really depends. Obviously, the, the most important thing when it comes to melee is the main weapon you choose to attack with, because that will determine how much time that volley takes and how likely it is other weapons uh, will be able to follow up after that. Um, yeah, for sure, A-squared. You can, people have used that to that. Uh, damage reduction in a particularly clever way. So, well, I mean, just like, for example, you can use stasis traps, you can extract them and drop them on the ground and intentionally put yourself in a stasis trap if you know a lot of enemies are coming and it's like a free shield. Uh, in fact, that's why originally this was a hidden mechanic in the game that I didn't uh, have, it didn't notify anyone about. Um, I think it was in the, in the it was hinted at by the, the derelicts though. But um uh, eventually people had started carrying around a trap extractor and a stasis trap and using it frequently as like an ongoing strategy, kind of like as a shield. And I didn't really want people doing that, which is why now, uh, that's why now when uh, stasis traps, if you're in a stasis trap and it's protecting you and you're attacked by damage or whatnot, um, it actually reduces the, that's where you, you know, the, that's the field strength thing. The being attacked actually reduces the field strength. Uh, the same as you trying to escape from the trap. Um, that was a balancing uh, need there. All right, so way hey, that was a good find actually. We got a little, a lot of makeshift stuff. Um, we're now a derelict mutant. If you look at our build up there, because we have some a number of derelict things, or we have. I guess now we only have two, but. Maybe that'll change. But yeah, early, early on, it's always uh, one of the things in game development is adding uh, adding interesting mechanics that players, you know, will likely be able to take advantage of. But first, they have to discover them anyway, and then you, know, you nerf them later after they discovered it. <laughs> that one in particular, I didn't actually consider it as necessarily going to be overpowered, though. Um, all right, just a random fluff dude. I just thought it would be a fun thing that whoever finds it can can use that strategy to to get somewhere and do something. Oh, look, there's a hidden spot back here. Check it out. A certain tinkerer told us you're special and that we should study your capabilities and tactics. Is that cool or what? Boom, we got allies. Oh yeah, man, I almost didn't even see that back there. It was hidden right around this corner. ASCII Zion. All right, I think we've done almost everything. A little bit over here on the left. And that's right, we have Farcom, so we can't get the printer. We could try, but then we'll get attacked. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's right. Uh, so recalibrator. Oh, yep, get out of the way. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's the only things left over here is uh, the uh, imprinter. Okay. Well, wasn't an amazing Zion. We didn't actually get uh, a, any cool stuff. I don't think. <laughs> oh well. We did get some allies who will not last. But yeah, I was hoping for a unique part. Instead, we just ended up with uh, uh, reinforcing some of our melee capabilities. Because the unique part can, you know, you can start to kind of build around it and do interesting stuff. But you don't always have an option. Oh, 
Oh, still a dude up here too. Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. It's the re it's the programmer coupler guy. Hmm. Basically, enough programmer couplers to allow you to hack every programmer you'll see through much of the game. Fine step says, might as well go for them. Hmm. I guess we could. Um, I mean, yeah, it, we're just doing a, a chill stream today anyway. Uh, I can't say we've necessarily survived. To do this, we're going to have to drop one of our computers and go get the uh, storage unit. Uh, mainly because I don't want to drop a bunch of stuff from our inventory in order to fit that stuff. But we're, there is a large storage unit back here we can use. Yep, okay, scan everybody. All right, where'd that large storage unit go? It's off here in the west or something. Yeah, for sure, exactly, fine step. I, I, I think we'll get rid of a regular target computer. I mean, the melee analysis, we're, we need the other one more right now. We're, we're, we're do, we've got a melee build going. All right. Um, large storage unit. Going to get rid of an improved targeting computer. Improved targeting computers are easy to replace, too, anyway. So. And, all right, let us... Go back to Mr. Programmer over here. No, dude got in our way. Okay, oh, hmm. that's weird. Didn't stop by that guy, it didn't actually continue. Normally it does. I guess these guy, dialogue guys are special though. All right, so all right, we're gonna grab programmer couplers, and that means we'd have to go into a garrison, get riff. <laughs> but that is an insane amount of programmer hacking power. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's new. Uh, a squared actually, it was just added since you said you hadn't played for a while. It's actually I think it was added in beta, beta nine. Although technically, if you played in November, you were playing Beta 9. But yeah, that was just added in that version. I think it was Beta 9. Maybe it was after that. Maybe I did that in RPG Like, which was in December. I don't quite remember when that was added. But uh, yeah, there's a go to command now. I think that might have been RPG Like. Oh, you're talking about Rift too? Oh, yeah, Rift is uh, crazy. That, that's been around for much, even longer than that. All right. This is. This is going to tell this. Now we got 107 core we're going to make back to the proxy caves. Just we'll see how this turns out. We got friends though. I feel much safer with friends. They'll last at least one encounter, right? All right, so we should probably stay up front. Oh, damn, heavy armor. Oh, man. All right, we need heavy armor. I ripped off both of our targeting computers. We now have heavy armor. 9% exposed now. Yes, our, our armor is now 54% of our coverage. Oh, that's what Steam claims? Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, obviously you can check you can check that pretty easily in the, your Cogmind directory as well, seeing when your last uh, score was. Assuming you finished. Or even if you didn't finish, checking the run log will tell you. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 the run log doesn't even have a date in it. All right, what do we got here? Makeshift leg, a force field, chain sword. Damn. There's too many melee options now. November was before beta 8. What year are you talking about? 2018? Yeah, wrong year. <laughs> it's gonna say. All right, so we've got some enemies coming. Oh, it's a hunter. Come on, guys, take him out. I'm not gonna stand behind my dead friends, that's for sure. All right, we need to actually help them. Maybe. 
I don't know if we can actually even get there before he's dead, or our guys are dead. All right. Uh, what do we got here? He dropped his flexi carbon leg and his phase shifter. We do want his leg. Uh, in fact, his phase shifter would also be nice, but I can't really fit it. Would help us survive. Programmer couplers. Nice. All right. Well, I grabbed it just in case. Uh, I don't think we're actually going to need it, but... <laughs> oh, you died to a demolisher in your first run that got to proxy cave, Karen's face? <laughs> wow. Uh, that's interesting. It's not so oh, shoot. There's a Slayer here. Damn it. Um, the problem with allies is I need to... Shoot, he's attacking me. All right, he's gonna stop attacking me in a second, I think. I'm gonna pull back. All right, now he's attacking them. Now he's gonna kill them really quickly. Oh, damn. Nice job, friends. Nice job. We haven't taken any damage yet. Proxy caves are dangerous. Oh, shoot, here comes some swarmers. Um, now I wish I had my targeting computers. <laughs> Uh, I was like, please don't hit my friends. Please don't hit my friends. Please don't hit the wall. Oh, shoot. Um, shoot. This is kind of a hard decision here. Uh, I know. I'm just going to pull ahead. Man, go Flamer, dude. We're getting through proxy caves. We're close to the exit. This is probably not the way to the exit. Oh wait, no, it might be after curve around, yeah. Looks like the north is nothing up there. Oh yeah, the layout where the exit is in the middle of a big uh, Obi-Wan base. Yeah, exactly. Um, that was a, that's what I was thinking, but the second one with all the demolishers wasn't added until recently, but the first one doesn't have a demolishers in it. Because there's definitely the newer one now. But that was added fairly recently. Shoot, where's the exit? Do we really have to go all the way back around to the north side? Oh, wait, did we start? Oh, yeah, shoot. Uh, we gotta go north, I think. The exit is back the other way. <laughs> the one with all the demolishes. Yes, that's a new one, Destin. And a lot of people haven't seen that one yet. I haven't played it myself either. I hear it's pretty nasty. Um, which is good. It was meant to be nasty, but... <laughs> <laughs> Exciting, right? Oh, shoot. Oh no, an ARC just opened. I was just gonna grab that too. Go, friends, go! Oh no! I'm gonna lose all our friends now. He's getting attacked. Oh no! Okay, this is bad. Um. All right, we need to use a launcher. It's just the most effective way to take care of multiple enemies here. Shoot, this one's a little tougher decision. Uh, well, we have, we have, luckily we have our armor now, which is mostly helping. Pull back far enough that I can hit the guy in the back and still hurt the guy in the front. All right, I think we should be able to do this without with the melee now. No, I'm gonna fire once more. Oh, that was bad. All right. Sixty core. So close, so close, so close.
Uh, no, the Demolisher base didn't exist back then. I don't know exactly when back then, what you mean by back then, how long ago it was, but I mean, it's pretty new. Um, you'd have to see, it's, it's actually in the changelog specifically when that was added. Okay, um, 60 core left. Armored wheel, huh? What's the coverage on this thing? Uh, 120. Hmm. Slightly lower than two legs. I'm trying to think whether it, we maybe we should put on this armored huge wheel. Actually, how fast is that? It's 100, yeah, but and it would be overweight by how much? Oh, we got 79 right now. I suppose 28. It'd be a little faster than we are now. I'm thinking if we should speed up because if we're using melee weaponry, it's. Uh, uh, a bit problematic if we meet enemies that we can't. Uh, uh, we need to be able to reposition more quickly. The faster you, when you're on melee, the faster you can move. Obviously, the or better you can uh, use your capabilities. Hmm. It's slightly lower the coverage though. Yeah. Let's do the wheel. Not gonna affect our overall coverage too badly. And we'll be moving a decent clip faster. We're close to the exit anyway. I just don't want the our, our survivability to come down to literally like one or two spaces if we get attacked while we're about to exit. Very close to the exit. Very close, it's near here. Oh, damn, it's not in here, though. I guess we have to go back north. Yes! What? In the mood for some fun. Oh, God. <laughs> He's at the exit. <laughs> He's sitting here at the exit. <laughs> All right. It's it's a wolf guy. All right. Yeah, okay. Looks like you're headed in the direction of Obi-Wan. All right, so we can listen to him. And he'll give us another hack we can use. I guess we'll get the hack. I don't know if I've actually ever used this hack. Or maybe I have. I probably did years ago. Early on when it was introduced. Possibly even before I was uh, streaming my runs. I don't know. Yep, yep, okay. Yep, that's awesome. Keep going. A lot of people have watched this guy die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. He gave us the hack. So we technically have it now. Even if he dies. <laughs> uh, yes, A squared it is two. Anyway, uh, I forgot to tell you what it does. <laughs> He'll just talk forever. Technically we already have the hack, so uh, we can leave. Yeah, so it's a hack that will make a behemoth friendly. Yeah, so nice. But as he warns, you can't, you can't use it a whole bunch. They adapt fast enough that it'll only work once or twice. But once is all you need in a pinch, yeah? So there's our friend. We now have that hack. We don't have any uh, data jacks yet, but we're going to solve that soon. <laughs> it's always sad when the annoying tinker dies in a firefight. Yeah. He's, uh, not, like I said, not uncommon that that happens. Okay, so it looks like we're going to actually go get Rift so we can use our newfound uh, programmer couplers. So let's up the utility slots because we're going to need to focus on that now. We've already got the right number of other slots. Technically, we're getting higher in the complex, but which makes, uh, oh, I guess we're at the depth. We're still uh, going into a garrison. Oh, it's still OK. doesn't worry me too much. There was our route so far. All right.
So now we need to find a garrison. Whoa. Guess what? <laughs> All of our intel, and we found a garrison. It's literally 15 steps away. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> our target. <laughs> the data is really good, though. I mean, sheesh. We now know where all this stuff is. Look at all that. Shoot traps, alarm traps, machines. Oh my gosh, it's just all the data. <laughs> that was quite a haul, for sure. A lot of proton bombs down here. We should probably, I don't know. We, oh, you know what thing? One thing we actually do need is a uh, remote data jack. Oh, you've never seen that much intel? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you can get this much intel if you just, just from hacking, too, and more than this, even. It's a, oh, it's a sizable amount, but. Well, no, it's these unknown storage again. Let's find out what these are. Okay, come talk to Matter 5. Plasma cannons. Hmm. We're kind of, it's kind of weird. We're, we've got this melee build going now, um, which I think is kind of okay. We also have an arc projector. A single arc projector I don't think is really going to be useful, though. I'm going to grab a plasma cannon instead. All right, so we need a remote data jack before we go into the garrison. Uh, obviously, if we wait long enough, one will be delivered to us by programmers. And look at that. There's another melee analysis suite. <laughs> melee analysis is really quite nice because um, uh, you really don't want to miss with your melee weapons because it takes a while to use them. They're really powerful, but it takes a while to use them. So missing is pretty painful. That's not happening. Oh god, really a programmer got dispatched at the same time. Uh, wow, a whole lot of prototype ballistic cannons. Hmm, would that be enough to get us off of our melee kick? <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we should find out what they are. Faulty, that's what they are. <laughs> Luckily, it was an energy drain. Uh, mini assault cannons. Hmm. Six matter per shot. That's a crazy amount of matter. I mean, they're still good, though. I mean, they're, they're quite good. But... We don't have the build for it really yet. I'm going to drop the shotgun and we'll grab one of these. What else? The phase shifter. I don't need the phase shifter anymore. I was just carrying that around as super emergency backup in case we somehow lost our armor in the, in the caves. But I guess it would be rather unlikely. We would have totally lost our armor. We'd die before that happened. And I guess we'll keep the plasma cannon. I'd almost the technically the assault cannon is a little better than the plasma cannon. Um, I mean, you can tell just from the fact that it's a prototype uh, of the same rating. But uh, we kind of just in case we uh, run low on matter at some point, we need to have thermal weaponry. I mean, I guess we also have melee weapons, but still. And look at that. We still have two. We have two spare melee weapons too. <laughs> and two really. Crappy launchers there. Yeah, I, I like mini assaults. They're pretty good. I mean, normally, like, I would immediately attach all of these. <laughs> I'm only sticking with this because we're just fooling around, and I don't know, I'm going with, oh, ambush traps, damn. And uh, we've got a melee build kind of going here, considering all this uh, our, our loadout is pretty much very much melee focused. All right, so there's another. We need the, we need the programmers. Out of the way, dude. Need the programmers. Oh, here he is. Welcome. 
Hey, that wasn't very nice. Wow. God. Wow, we we destroyed four of his parts. <laughs> destroyed his target analyzer, both of his shock rifles, and his engine. <laughs> Dude, come back here. He's running away now. He's like, he's taking our remote data jack and running with it. Unfortunately, I don't have an effective way to deal with this. Uh, shoot. He got away. Okay, he's coming back again. <laughs> He's gonna walk out this door. Oh, he got blocked. Damn it. He got blocked by the engineer, so he went a different way. Oh damn, there's heavy machine guns to the north. Oh, here he comes again. Oh no, he's got he got over there. There we go. That's what I wanted. He dropped it. <laughs> Remote data jack, number one. Unfortunately, it's a little bit damaged, but hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, pick up the matter on the floor. Oh, yeah, I, I had forgotten also that we have... Um, actually, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't even remember we have a, the matter pot attached. I didn't intend to even have that attached. Um, I guess we got the extra space, so it doesn't matter right now, but... Remote data jack. Let me deal with this here first. And, hmm, inventory. Space. These programmer couplers are really taking up a lot of space. Oh... Uh. Okay, let's go, but, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the titanium leg, I believe, yes. And grab remote data jack, and... Oh, here comes another programmer. Also a processor, unknown processor to the north. Oh, is that the same programmer? No, it's a different programmer. All right, I'm gonna put my spear back on, put my sword, activate it, and I'm gonna chop this guy to pieces. Hey, thank you. They delivered another remote data jack. This one's in perfect shape. <laughs> and here comes another one from the north. Actually, hmm. It's kind of weird. That other programmer we met wasn't a part of this group. Did we just kill the leader of a squad? If we did, that programmer to the north doesn't actually know where we are. But it's kind of interesting they got separated by so much space. Part delivery system, exactly. Uh, all right, I guess I'm just going to... Yeah, that programmer to the north does not know we're here. Now he does. <laughs> all right, well, we've got his data jack. It's okay. We have enough now, two of them anyway. I only have enough space, so much space. Hmm. All right, let's see. Remote data jack. We need to fit this one in our inventory now, too. Let's um, just attach one of our legs. All right, now we get two remote data jacks. Let's find out what these couplers are. I mean, processors are. Gonna get spotted. Advanced melee analysis suite. Oh, damn. That is awesome. We really are a melee build now. <laughs> I mean, technically, no, we don't We don't have some of the other specialized parts, but sheesh, it's already uh, pretty nice. And also some heavy machine guns, damn. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden time, yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, oh, we can actually remove our matter pod. Um, I, I kind of want to keep that in our inventory, but we can remove it so that we can attach... A fourth an melee analysis. It's kind of excessive, but it means we won't miss. And if you don't miss with melee, then um, you're pretty powerful considering the damage output these things can do. Oh, you know what? We don't. We can drop one of our. Let's drop our makeshift uh, sword because we have a spare. Drop the makeshift sword. Attach another one, and then we can put the matter pot in our inventory, and attach another melee analysis. <laughs> uh, okay then. Interesting build. And we now have what we were waiting for, so we can go into the garrison. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, the hunter's going the other way. Yeah, exactly, fine step. Anything past 95% only serves to counterattack evasion or phase shifting, so it makes it easy for us, for, for example, to even chop down swarmers, though. Or um, uh, hunters.
Hmm. Well, I kind of wanted to go south. What if we switch to north? Nope. Damn, can't get in there. Uh, where's he going? He's going to come back outside in a second. Here he comes. Here he comes. Missed him. Programmers, more programmers coming. Gotta love Farcom, right? Uh, don't phase shifters only work on ranged targeting? Um, no. <laughs> Not that I recall. I dropped mine, so we can't look at it right now, but I don't think that's true. Oh, dude, engineer's pretty right there. Yeah, I, I like dodging guys like that, Dustin. It's uh, fun. It's also easier to do when you have Farcom. Get out of the way, dude. All right, here comes the programmer. Uh, let's wait for him over here, actually. Oh, look at that. It's another remote data jack. That one's actually less damaged than the one we picked up earlier. Barely, but... Okay, now we actually have to get out of this thing, which might not be easy. Uh, 60%. Okay, it's not that hard. Unlocked. Boom. Into the garrison we go. Oh, you know one thing we're missing? If we really go into a garrison, don't we need another... We probably need more storage. Don't we need another storage unit? Uh, we could eject the couplers. Um, doesn't that shut... Did down also i thought we made that was changed we do need more storage though <clears throat> um and we have yeah otherwise we're gonna have trouble with this also we're gonna end up having to get rid of a lot of our melee analysis but well whatever um uh ejecting the couplers oh it doesn't close the door oh mm. uh but it does raise the alert or whatever or what calls in more programmers that's for sure that's a good way to get programmers too if you need one <laughs> another way can force them to come to you. Uh, let's see. Wait, where's some more storage? Um, this uh, oh, there's one to the bat southeast. We pass right by it. The one dropped by the uh, hauler we killed earlier. Uh, you can eject couplers with a hack. Oh. But, um, yeah, it's damaged, but I guess it makes sense to pick up that other storage unit. Unless it's been taken by now, but probably hasn't. Oh, there must be a hidden path. Look at that down there. <laughs> that hunter's taking, going through the wall. Hmm, now he's in this room. <laughs> no, <laughs> a programmer clock? No, no programmer clocks. The clock is just a real time here. It's 10:05 a.m. Some it was a it was a common request over the years. I mean, not super common, but more than one person had asked for a, a real time clock. And it also tells you how long your current run is in real time. So this run so far has been an hour and 40. Uh oh, uh oh, here he comes. <laughs> this hunter just can't find us. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot everything's gone damn it the recyclers came oh uh, well we had multiple opportunities too <laughs> nice way to tell you've stayed up too late yeah seriously some people do for sure but play cogwind till all hours of the morning or don't even go to sleep um not that the clock necessarily helps but actually i think there was another option I was thinking about or we were joking about that the clock can like flash red or you can have the option to have it turn red or flash if it's been too long or something like that. But anyway, yeah, it's 10 a.m. here. I stream in the morning. Well, OK, the storage unit did not work out. You know where it is, though? The storage unit is right here. <laughs> it's inside that recycling unit because the recycler will take it to the nearest recycling unit. 
So if we want it back, we could still go up there and get it. I mean, I guess we're in a decent shape now. We can do that for fun. As soon as we, oh, we're gonna have to go by this guy. And uh, no other way, no other way around here. Hmm. Damn. Uh oh, I need to pull him in closer. There we go. Improved light armor. Also his engine, actually we can take his engine. Farcom, making things easy. All right, we already know it's in there, so I'm just gonna retrieve. Ah, uh, there it is. Large storage unit, found it. <laughs> Boom, that's exactly what I wanted. My storage unit back, and all the other stuff that we left behind. There's the phase shifter. Yeah, reduces enemy, oh, check it out. There's the answer for you. Uh, I was I was incorrect, Karaspace was asking about that. Reduces enemy range to targeting by 5%. I don't remember, why did that question come up? I completely forgot, but yes, it is range targeting, is what it says right there. Uh, oh, we were talking about it because of hitting uh, the hunters. That's right. So the melee analysis isn't necessary to overcome anything that the hunters have. So, yes, range targeting accuracy only. Large storage unit. All right, so I'm going to grab this. Um, we do need, oh, we're going to need to attach it. I almost want to probably just attach it now. I'm just going to get rid of one of our analysis suites. Okay. Now we're ready to leave. We got our storage. Yeah, I figured if we circled around here, we're gonna have to see this sentry, but oh no, or we could go through this hidden door we just revealed. <laughs> well, technically we're still gonna see when we come out of this room, unless it digs through the wall. Um, I mean, it's obviously nice to not have a whole bunch of, uh, alert. Our hunter friend is still off patrolling to the east there. All right. We are very familiar with this terrain. I've kind of like made it our home. Going back and forth several times now. Programmers. There he is. Can we beat him? Oh, it's not the right programmer. That's a different programmer. <laughs> that is just a patrolling programmer. Okay, now we're done. Into the garrison we go. Ah, very sadly, we can't get rift right away. I hate that when that happens. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's not super common that you can. There's only a literally 25% chance. But, because, um, you know, it could appear in any of the corners. But it's really nice when it happens because then you immediately get the benefit of no alert, uh, no passive alert gain inside the garrison. Too bad. Oh, shoot. There's a lot of stuff down there. But this is a garrison, so some of it might be behind walls. See, there it is. Garrison interior compromise. <laughs> Damn it. What are these guys doing? Yeah, they're coming this way. Probably not going to come all the way, though. Probably. Okay, maybe they are. <laughs> maybe I should just hit them with a missile first before they get here. That might be a good idea. Damn it. Didn't take anyone out. All right, at least I got one of them. Gotcha both. <laughs> A squared says, every time he tries hiding in corners like that, they come all the way. <laughs> um, I just assumed not. I mean, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, because, well, I can get into more specifics about why I would think they wouldn't come all the way, and that's just because 
I mean, they patrol randomly, more or less. They decide on a on a patrol destination, and it's less. I mean, the fact that there's nothing behind you means it's less likely that their destination is here than it is somewhere else out in the longer corridor or whatever. If it's behind, now, if there's space beyond you, then obviously it's likely they can be passing by in order to get that. So it's mainly a percentages thing, and they can smell fear. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> always um yeah fun to make up other possibilities all right can we gonna get attacked or not mm, no okay we need to make it to the other corner before we do other side. oh damn there's a demolisher in here whoa demolisher two active arcs huh that's not good it's quite bad demo buddy it's not a demo buddy that's a <clears throat> demo baddie. Um, yeah, a demo with his own friggin' shield. That's that's not cool. Wow, this is this is not a not a happy place. Um, hmm. Not good. There's also a patrolling hunter to the south. It looks like. Yep, here it comes. Oh, if he jumps at you, he might be worth a FLK. That's true. I hadn't thought about the FLK. We've only got two shots left. Um, but yeah, this, this could really go south if a lot of these guys start getting out, including the, the demo there. So it might be worth it, especially actually also I didn't quite notice our armor is down to only 100. We're in the red on our armor. I guess we'll wait a sec, see what that hunter does. Shoot. Hmm. We can also hack through the wall here and go behind and get the hunter. I mean, they get the demo if we want them. That seems kind of actually like a nice idea. Also, it's going to make a mess, but... <laughs> make a mess. <laughs> a squared says make a mess. Um, part of the problem is as soon as the demo sees us, he's going to fire what he's probably, what's the guy got? He probably doesn't have a nuke. He's probably got a, um, a rocket launcher or a missile launcher at this depth. Um, not a nuke yet. It's not an annihilator. But anyway, as soon as he sees us, he's going to fire. And once he does that, uh, he's going to damage himself, I guess, but not much really. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, he's got a heavy uh, missile launcher or whatever, I believe. Can we even get through this wall? Oh, shoot, the ARC is free. I don't know if we can actually get through this wall. Uh, we can get through the back though. Oh, this is the one that opened. Huh. This here is the one that opened. I thought it was the ARC. Alright, now we have a better chance, actually. If we just wait here for the uh, demolisher to see us, we can get the first shot. Oh, sneak attacking him for combat hover? Yeah, <clears throat> if you kill him. <laughs> Oh no, now we're gonna be blocked. Okay. Um don't miss. <laughs> I had to move just to make sure that if uh the angel stayed in the way, I I'd still get a shot. He'd stayed in front anyway. Dude, take it easy. Great, he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. All right. Ended up smashing himself up. That was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, let's. Born to explode, that's for sure. All right, yeah, he's gonna meet the hunter in a second. Oh shoot, come on. Oh man. <laughs> okay, well, we got rid of a threat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd get a shot off and start taking some of these guys out. 
Uh, stupid hunter. I could have actually blocked him. Who's this hunter just gonna shoot? Which lesson is that, Destin? In one of the truest lessons of Cogmind? <laughs> that is a, a good lesson. No matter what side they're playing for, demolishers suck for you. That that is a that is an important lesson in Cogmind. Demolishers generally suck for you. Um, I mean, they can be fun and destructive, um, but if they're on your side, they actually cause as much trouble as they solve usually and if they're on the enemy side obviously they really suck <laughs> very very true this is a tough situation to deal with <laughs> exactly demolishers demolish intentionally causing problems for everyone I was wasting a lot of time sitting here I want to just charge south and kill that guy on the way, but then he's going to open the ARC will probably pop out too. Unless I, I continue charging. If I wait here, it's going to take forever. I'm not going to wait here. Oh, actually, maybe I should have headed west there. Oh well. Yeah, the ARC is now free. I'm dodging left and right, left and right. You can't see me. Oh shoot, don't get stuck in the stasis trap. I just got stuck in the stasis trap. 80. 70. This would be actually fine if we had ranged weaponry. Um, I would have intentionally gotten into the stasis trap down there. We're not, we don't have ranged weapons, so. Yeah, now we're getting shot. <laughs> oh well. He's gonna help us get out, I guess. Thank you. Oh, that's not, there we go. Switch to legs? Oh, why, why am I switching to legs? You mean just to block shots? I mean, I guess we could. The whole point of wheels is just to move faster in general. It's in order to close the range on enemies. That's why we've generally been uh, doing that. I lost that. Okay. And the only other reason would be if we don't want to lose them. All right. You lost your phase shifter. Then you died. Anyway, I retreated away because I didn't want him to uh, alert the ARC. Okay, now we can press ahead. Oh, also... Oh, I forgot we got the extra storage unit. I was going to say, how many so much storage space? <laughs> All right, we have 106, though. The damaged one started low, so not in great shape. Put on charging computer because, hey, it's sitting there. And don't need the other stuff. We're going to fill it up anyway. Oh, you meant to escape stasis? Oh, yeah, no, not. It would only help if it's if it gave us a whole bunch of extra support. I don't know. It, it, I don't think it gave would give us a whole, that much more. But anyway, all right, let's get the heck out of what the. Oh, we're still not there. Man, our alert's going up. I don't want that to stop. No more alert. Ooh, I see armored wheels. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's what I saw coming. Shoot. All right, time to kill everyone. Yep, well aware. Well aware we have more company here. Go missiles, go. Boom. Pull back around the corner. Take off our trusty missile launcher. Activate our trusty makeshift sword. And chop that guy to pieces. All right. Hey, where's that hunter is now doing what? Oh, he's going that way. Farcom makes it a lot easier to dodge things than sensors do because... Um, well, I guess it depends on how fast everything's moving. But with Farcom, it's always instant update, which is nice. All right, can we finally get our rift, please? Thank you. Oh, Garrison Interior compromised literally four turns before we got our rift. Very sad. 
Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. As you can tell, look at our influence there, it's 2i, which isn't that bad actually. Once we leave the garrison, it will be uh, within decent levels. Now we can actually get some couplers. I've been avoiding that the entire time, because really when you jump into your... Oops. When you jump into your first garrison, uh, garrison the, first, uh, the first thing you need is to... Um, is to get the get there as quickly as you can. I mean, unless you really don't care about alert, but honestly, most people should, especially since the garrison is going to spit you back out into a main fuller, probably. So, all right. Yes, a squared. Wow, you don't know anything about riff, huh? <laughs> it's like a it's a whole major way to play. But we're technically, we, I wasn't planning on riffing today just because we already did a riff run, a full one, uh, recently with player two. Um, which turned out really well. But, uh, I mean, obviously the reason this time was we would be all these programmer couplers, which I've never actually used before. So, uh, late game riff is kind of nice for that. Oh, you're never good enough at the game to get riff? Oh. Yeah, got to come into garrisons for it. I'm going to kill this grunt as soon as he walks down here. Actually, wait, I don't know, I'm going to get a coupler and take him over later, so I'm not going to kill him. Let's go find couplers. Technically, there's couplers down there. But let me see. Also, we can get wheels from these ARCs, which we will do. Might as well do it now. Oh, that's right. That guy's not armed. I should go kill him. Here comes the hunter who is armed. Still waiting on that hunter. We'll get you later, dude. Anyway, so now we're free to be in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, player two uh, uh, riff is fun. I like it. But yeah, I mean, you just have to be playing for player two's deficiencies. Like, as I showed in one of the previous streams, you can convince them to uh, use armor. <laughs> and they'll stick with it. Just got to keep them supplied. All right, so there's going to be some couplers back here. First, we have to make it past. Oh, shoot. No, I don't want to step back. No, 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 no. Where'd he go? He's just sitting there now. Okay, he's just sitting there. All right, you stay there. I don't want to get caught in a stasis trap right now, but I'm caught in a stasis trap right now. He just seems to be sitting there for some reason, so we're just going to let him sit there. There he goes. Now he's moving. He must have lost us. All right, couplers. Nah, he just lost us. It took him a little while. He was blocked and then was waiting around. All right, so let's see. We don't really want him as a friend, though, do we? Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I mean, he's... Unless I, unless I chopped off his weapon and he ran away, but I didn't see that happen. Not that I recall. Um, why not? We've got the space... Um, yeah, you do that, dude. All right, so we do not yet have Hunter. Two R oh, we have an ARC coupler. Hmm, that actually could be useful. There's an ARC up north. Didn't think of that. I wasn't really planning on keeping it, though. Damn, Hunter is just not going to get out of the way, though. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, hacking options, A squared. That's just the combat hacking options. There's a lot of non combat hacking options, too. There's, in all, there's uh, like almost 70 robot hacks you can do. A lot of good stuff. All right, now we're going to fight this Hunter, it looks like. 
Get ready to fight, Swarmer dude. I am going to hide in the wall. <laughs> No, I think I'm going to charge him, I guess. Oh man, our large storage unit is about to be blown off. Hmm. No, not before our leg, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, Mr. Hunter. I wanted to make you my friend, but I don't have a coupler, so... I'll just have to settle for making you dead. Oh yeah, we can also go for some, go for the wheels now. Okay, moving at a decent speed. Um, yeah, as Fine Step says, uh, A squared, the uh, the very early garrisons are easier to deal with, and especially like we've got now, we've got Farcom. It makes it so much easier to deal with garrisons, in particular, because you can see everybody's hiding behind the walls, uh, which is you normally can't do that with regular sensors. Let us kill them with hacks. First, I have to actually get the door open. Boom, slip right by. Oh no. Damn it, missed. Um, amplify resonance. Yeah, we're now up at 3B, so that'd be bad if we're on a main floor. Here, it's not too bad, but yeah. Now, as soon as you're at 2, you can get assaults, as soon as it switches to 2. All right, what do we get in here? Grunt, grunt, brawler, brawler, and NC. Oh, man, I always have such a problem with <laughs> anything below a ridiculous amount of storage. It makes me unhappy when I'm using Riff, but we're not... I don't know. I guess this really shouldn't be a full riff run. It's not intended to be. Anyway, I mean, it's not a question of what it should or shouldn't be, but I guess part of the problem is also we have all these programmer couplers, which is pretty awesome. Now the programmer, uh, basically, I don't know, maybe we just don't really need a lot of other couplers. It just always seems like unfortunate to me when though I don't have, have the coupler that I need, though. <laughs> Obviously, we're using them up as quickly as possible, but I think I need three inventory spaces here because I want both of the grunts and the NZ. Uh, uh, we could probably slim down some more inventory as well. Like, let me think here. Hmm. We do need several extra weapons. Well, get rid of a. I'll get rid of our rocket launcher and our mini, one of our mini assault cannons. But yeah, we do exactly. I think that's the main aim for this uh, particular run is just, or so now it's become it, is just to use the programmer couplers where uh, we don't really need to worry as much about having the other types of couplers. Um, and C in particular, I think will be very useful uh, for like lowering alert and doing other special stuff, but like other hacking other enemies, our programmers should be able to handle that for us. Our allied programmers. You've never hit high security care space? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I hit that a lot. <laughs> more, more than I'd like. Um, I 
fun times, usually it means I'm going to die. All right, it looks like we have, a, it's time to use some more couplers here. Don't shoot me. Oh, damn, I don't have enough. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot. I don't exactly had, I didn't have super high value stuff here. All right, I guess we're gonna have to kill this guy. Um, reboot him. Did not have enough to finish that. Overheat him? Eh, I just shut him down because we can chop him to pieces before he dies anyway. <laughs> Overheating, he'd still be able to attach, uh, attack us for a bit. Oh, what's up here? Energy wells. Hmm. Anyway, what do we got here? Another brawler, sentry, grunt, and sea swimmer. Damn. So much stuff I want. All right, I'm going to remove the swarmer. Put on the sentry, because there's a sentry around the corner. There's two sentries around the corner. Uh, I guess we can technically go hack both of them. All right, there we go. Rearranging our couplers, not with an eye towards saving a lot of, uh, conserving many of them. Not too worried about that. Ooh, another sentry. There's three of them. I don't have enough couplers for three of you guys. Huh. What's this guy doing behind the wall here? How do I get in there? Hmm. I wonder how we get back there. I guess there's a, is there a phase wall somewhere? Oh, look at that. I found a phase wall. <laughs> um, yeah, funny find stuff. Yeah, like we had before, only now. Uh, <laughs> obviously, there's more options now, but it was pretty funny when they only required... Oh, this is what's in here. Oh, wow. Improved remote data jacks. Nice. First, we've got to also, uh, let's see. Uh oh, our friends are going to attract some attention here in a second. I think I need to just step in here. Oh, shoot. Actually, we, we don't have enough sentry couplers to keep one of these guys, do we? It takes 13. Shoot. Damn it. Our slightly low value. I mean, we're not super high on the complex yet, and we don't have any abilities to support it. So uh, I guess the improved remote data jacks are worth it, though, taking these guys on. Oh, all right, they're behind the walls, yes. And alarm sounds, here they come. All right, let's um, stream control him to kill the other guy. And then after we're done with that, we're just going to kill him. Sorry, dude. But you were stream controlled. I'm not going to walk around with you forever. Okay, what else is in here? Good stuff. Um, remote data jack. Yes, we now have two remote data jacks. Improved versions. Two is good enough, I think. Hmm. Anyway, well, I was originally going to take them, but it turns out the data, the, uh, data jacks were worth going in for anyway. All right, it looks like there's actually something else to the south. More data jacks down here. All right, we can also make some grunt friends. Plasma. What? Wait, what? Oh, that's right, we switched stuff. All right, what is this guy worth? All right, let's do this. 
Oh no, don't do that. Spike heat, does that even work very well against grunts? I was going to say I got to scatter his targeting, but let's just spike his heat. <laughs> it broke his engine immediately. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's because his... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right. Oh, I hadn't fixed that. That's a, a bug yet, too. Oh, a bug. I hadn't fixed it yet. There's, um, I didn't recall... I added the new labels for broken parts, but it changes the label name before um that actual text goes up so it says broken engine breaks down technically it's the engine breaking down that causes it to get that label so that was some one of the uses that i hadn't uh, realized yet oh great i'm stuck in a trap um actually i think i did already fix that in the next version oh sh shoot <sighs> i just chopped my own friend's laser off because he stepped in front of me while I was attacking. You know, turn-based roguelikes. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. NC, Swarmer, and NC. That was unfortunate. Um, are you, Desinim, are you referring to the hacking suites thing? Because one thing you should know is, remember, that was a placeholder system. I don't know if you knew that, but when Cogmine was first released, the original robot hacking system was intended to be a placeholder. I mean, that's why it was so underdeveloped and super simple and just based on hacking suites. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, that was the one thing that I, I wanted to see what the rest of the game played out as first before developing a full hacking system. Also, it would have taken a long time. You know, as we saw later, it took a while to put together such a big robot hacking system. And uh, back then, there wasn't enough time before I needed to do uh, the first alpha release. I could only put it off for so long. So I just really, at the, it was a January of 2015. I basically just sat down and said, what do we absolutely need? Because I really need to actually release this game. What do we absolutely have to have in it? Um, so I ended up spending those first was the remaining five months before release at that point just to do um you know i had to spend like weeks on a trailer i had to build the, the tiles weren't even done until literally just a few months before it was released before that it was all ascii only so there was tiles the trailer and i actually added the first two branches the mines and storage those were the only two branches at the first release but i, I thought it would be kind of it would be too underwhelming if the early game was still zero, you know, had zero branches. And I wanted to kind of demonstrate how, how branches were going to work throughout uh, early access. So I wanted those to be in there. But anyway, programming, uh, the ability to, to reprogram and mess with bots, hack them and stuff, definitely took a backseat to everything else. Those other more important things. All right, we're still, our large storage is still going. Uh, <laughs> boomer bot. <laughs> Back in my day, we just hacked robots with a single piece of equipment. Yeah, really. <laughs> it was. And people, it was just always funny because people didn't use it at all for ages. And only, only much later in Alpha did people discover how powerful it could be. It was pretty fun. Um, just an example of. Releasing things that could be could be broken, but it's just fun to let people play with them anyway. And then nerf them. <laughs> but obviously, with the development, you have to balance that. You don't want to nerf too many things at once, because people aren't happy about that, obviously. At the same time, you have to also give other benefits and, and fun stuff to play with. So it's always going to be balanced out. All right, how many friends we got now? Don't we have a sentry? Where is he? There he is. All right, we're moving too fast for our sentry. You can't keep up. All right, we're done here. And we can finally now use our programmer couplers. Oh, whoa, what's back here? I bet it's I bet it's a generator. Yeah, it's a generator. Our influence is currently 3M, which is rather high. Good thing is we have NC couplers, and we're going to get to use them on our way out. I don't know. Maybe we should attach one, too, as well. You guys stay here. I'm going to go get an NC coupler real quick.
because I left them uh, over here. There's uh, one. Oh, what's up with this guy? Oh, I told him to wait there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, good thing. Look at that. I came back and got a new grunt. <laughs> I forgot I told him to wait there. Let's just attach an NZ coupler because I'm going to want to use that as soon as we get into the next floor. Almost certainly. And we picked up our grunt friend. Hey, guys, look who I found. It's the guy who still has his weapon, unlike the other guy I chopped off his laser up. Um, uh, yeah, game has always had score sheets, A squared. Uh, ever since the 7DRL. The score sheet idea started with the 7DRL, where people just wanted to see a whole bunch of stats. Originally, it was just your score and a few basic little things, but then people wanted to see stats, and so I said, okay, why not? So I started building a stat system, and man, it is just so massive now. I love it. <laughs> so much data. All right, back to the complex we go. <laughs> a beta 4 late 2017. That was a long time ago. Just think about what it was like back in Alpha in 2015. Oh, look at that. We found another garrison. And look at that. It's like waiting for us in the room here. Another large storage unit that we can now fix our broken one. That was a really good find. Phase cannons and the regular improved data jack. Hmm. Oh, our influence is actually rather high. It's still high enough to get assault, so we need to find an operator. Oh my god, there's two garrisons right next to each other? Wow. All right, where are we? <laughs> Top center of the map. Two garrisons. Oh my gosh. I'm going to shut this one down right away. Shut down, shut down, shut down. The other one's going to call reinforcements, I bet. Uh, I want to leave one open because I want to go through it. But what is that? There's a blade trap. Oh, God, our allies are going to get chopped to pieces in here. Oh, our friend just got... Oh, this grunt just killed two of our grunts. What? All right, garrison activated. Damn, that grunt is killer. Oh, great. Multiple dispatches coming here. Um, boom. Remote data jack this dude. We're going to overwrite his IFF. That grunt just killed two of our grunts in a century. Like a friggin' hero grunt. Is he, is he even like hurt? <laughs> What's up with this guy here? He's hurt. He's down to just nine left on his core, but still, wow. Do -do -do -do. Let's see. Um, building my own grunt army. Oh, resonance might break the garrison. That's a good point. Honestly, I could just chop through the wall and shut it down. That's what I was planning on doing, but there's an awful lot of grunts here. <laughs> It'll be a little while before I can put anything else out. Hmm. This dude over here is going to get rebooted in a second. Just deciding whether we should actually go in or not. Oh my god. Is it really? What the? Crap. <laughs> a lot of reinforcements. I am rather surprised at this number of reinforcements. <laughs> I 
so we can either shut it down or just dive into it. I didn't really want to dive into it because we really need to find an operator first, but yeah, amplifier resonance, I was thinking about it. It would take that out, but I, w I was thinking of um, hmm, what happens after that. Obviously, now we're already inside here. It makes it a little more problematic. I mean, we can just shut it down now, but uh, let me think. I guess we'll shut it down. Don't think amplify. <laughs> all right, I'm going to shut it down, though, because sealing it first, first of all, it doesn't take any turns to do that. Second of all, it, if once it amplify, if you use an amplifier resonance, I think, oh wait, actually, I think that still is, does that count against you? Because, yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it except for this guy up front. I need to pull back. Otherwise, it'd blow me up. It didn't work very well. Crap. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I know it doesn't summon an assault, but it would. Uh, oh, um, oh, it doesn't summon assault, so that means, I guess that means the alert didn't wouldn't go up then. Oh, alert just dropped again. Damn, that might have changed my calculations from earlier. Hmm. Hmm. We have one more grunt coupler, which is extremely good news under this situation. <laughs> Without that, I would be even more worried, but I am still actually a little worried. Yeah, I know we have no power. We don't really need power right now, though. The only reason I was thinking, normally if I was fighting, I would immediately, my next move would be to attach a core, but honestly, we don't really need power at the moment. The only reason to attach a core right now would be to coverage uh, or attach a power source. But we're not using power for anything except firing a data jack, which is our core can handle that. Um, biggest problem is the fact that there's literally uh, eight grunts staring at us. <laughs> Now I'm starting to feel like I should have jumped into the garrison. <laughs> Strong feelings of should have jumped into the garrison. Hmm. We have one more grunt coupler. We have a total of 33 charges. Where's a programmer when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a programmer would get eaten alive by all these guys at once. Four left. Also, we'd have to rip off that. Hmm. All right, I have an idea.
Focus, focus. Uh, yeah, I was going to stream control next. <clears throat> the question is, uh, who do we stream control? Because these two guys at the south, I prefer, I wish these guys were green. I want to stream control one of these guys so that they start shooting at them and then I can move in. Um, and they don't, they'd fight each other for a little bit. But uh, this guy I wanted to just take over so he can, in a second, come around the back and attack them. And help finish it off. And also blocked this place so they can't come in and pincer us. So kind of turned it into a one-sided thing. And unfortunately, these guys aren't good for stream controlling because they're just going to die immediately as soon as it happens. I need to get one of these guys who's not almost dead. There's only two guys that aren't almost dead, though. Everyone else is almost gone. So it's actually not a huge deal. Actually, does these guys have power sources left? <laughs> um, this guy has a power source. This guy has a power source. All right, I think I know what we're going to do then. <laughs> Uh, it's true the area debuffs would have been good uh, the first when we were running um, from uh, towards from this direction to the east it would have been good to pull off one of those first I'm not used to using that for sure all right I'm gonna use this guy in the amplifier resonance take out them kaboom hey Vectus all right so things are turning out okay right now was looking scary for a second there. Alright, now he's got two full guys going after him. Now the other guy switched directions. Alright, I think we're going to need to charge in a second. I'm going to put on a chain sword and charge this guy. I'm going to charge him with a spear, actually. Oh, shoot, he turned around. Well, oh, he's dead either way. What? <laughs> what? Did you see what happened over there? <laughs> this smith put a new engine in that grunt who already had... I, yeah, the ba he put the backup engine in there and they blew up. That was hilarious. That didn't work with their system. <laughs> so this guy's lost his engine too. <laughs> Never seen that happen. Oh man. That grunt, we hit him earlier with the re critical resonance. And so he, had, the machinist came along to give him a new engine. And it was, and he's um, resonated with the uh, machinist. And both of their engines exploded, killing the grunt. Damn. I would like to make a friend of this guy. It would be nice if he could heal us up. Um, we don't exactly need it, though. I mean, I guess he could fix our rocket launcher and our spear. Yeah, it's too bad we lost our sword. The makeshift sword was cool. Obviously, he could fix our legs, too, but not that impressive. Plus, there's also legs sitting on the ground. Although, they're not as good as our legs, though. We do have decent legs. Uh, anyway, first got to take care of these enemies. That was, that was pretty funny. All right. <laughs> now it's time to kill this guy. And this guy. Kill my friend! Ooh, follow up attack with the chainsword. Alright, they're all gone. Yeah, I remember that. There was a thing where there is a part. I mean, the cryofiber where you can actually lower your heat to negative, but combining that with other parts uh, had interesting results. But um, the cryo web, yeah, as Bad Emperor says. Um, yeah, exactly. Fine step. I don't think it's a really great assimilation there, because since he lost his engine, he's already damaged too. But. Can stream control him? That's an interesting idea. I never thought of stream controlling him. Huh. Just to use, because as a cheaper approach. Huh. Just to get him to do a one-time thing. Yeah, I like that idea, actually. Uh, I also kind of want to see what we rebuild as first, though. And, uh, let's see.
Well, these are full. Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. I just dropped the wrong thing. Oh, never mind. It's in our inventory anyway. Matter compressor. 250. Yeah, he would just repair a spear and a leg there. Oh yeah, the thermal converter, as Vecti says. <clears throat> um, yeah, it generates power based on temperature. Yeah, it was uh, the converter didn't realize that negative heat was possible. Just one of those things you don't, or didn't uh, realize. There is a grunt coupler on the ground. Oh, yeah, of course. It came from, oh, wow. I didn't even notice that when we must have walked by it. Uh, we went out, yeah, from the blown up garrison. I guess we were a little further east when it happened anyway, but it came, a grunt coupler came from the garrison. Damn. That could have been uh, nice if we were a little closer and picked it up and used it immediately. But I guess we had enough to get through that situation anyway. Okay, so we've now taken out two of the garrisons. If we plan to use more garrisons on this floor, <laughs> they're probably not going to be nearby. Uh, it could be a trek. I'm not actually sure where we're going anyway, but our alert. What we need to find is an operator. That's what we need. And, oh, I guess the other question is, do we need to repair our spear or not? And our leg. A leg, no. Spear, I don't really care. I don't think we need to worry about the mechanic. It'd be cooler if we had allies, I guess, but he's pretty messed up. All right, so we're at the top side of the map. And wait, let me check this again. We are at the top center of the map. Mm. I guess we go north and look around. Probably a dead end, but I picked that up just because now we have friggin' 700 matter. <laughs> picked up a matter compressor. Oh, we do have a large storage schematic. Tracing. Fine then. I know, I'm not a hacker. Oh, we got reported from here earlier. That was a lot of enemies. What is that grunt doing? He's moving fast. Anyway. Oh. Look at this guy. It's an administrator. Um. Don't mind if I do purge the alert. Don't mind if I purge it again. There we go. Now we're low security. Uh, use the grunt to find a garrison. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, we do have enough to do that, too. Um, let's see. Let's see. I hacked this guy again for some reason, I think, maybe. <laughs> start evac. If we could, if we were fast enough to follow. I've never actually used start evac. I wonder um, how many people have. Not a lot, I'm sure. But it is tech. If you're fast enough. The thing is, if you're fast enough, you probably don't need to worry too much about where the exits are. But if you're fast enough, you can use it to possibly find an exit. It could, you could use it, I guess, even, even a combat bot could use it in a pinch for a short term uh, if you hope that it's nearby. And that's one way. Um, anyway, let's see. Recall, invest, uh, summon haulers. All right, I don't think we need anything else, actually, for this guy. Our alert is low enough. <laughs> All right, where did that grunt go? Let's go. He's probably gone by now. Oh, well. We're going to head this way anyway. Um, doesn't have any negative side effects. Um, it just tells him to leave. Oh, damn. Greed axe. Don't have to replace our uh, melee weapons then. And layered light armor. Mm, kind of want that, but we don't really have room for that. I guess we'll just take... Uh, the Great Axe. Oh, we still have the mace, too. Hmm. Drop the mace. Choppy, yes. We now choppy. We're gonna, I guess we'll just keep the chainsword as well. Whatever. 
Oh, assimilating them. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. We do have a lot of couplers. It's true, the NC couplers. In fact, we have plenty for this floor. If we're going to go into another garrison, we'll uh, almost certainly gather more as well. So, yeah, we could actually hack an operator. Now we're in great shape. We're going to need to attach a programmer coupler before long, though. That's going to take up some space. Guaranteed no amount of it. Sentry. We don't have a sentry coupler, right? All right. So we just got, yeah, we tell, all I have is a swarmer coupler. Combat wise, other than the grunts we've got attached. Oh, proton missiles and improved proton missiles and high capacity storage. Don't mind if I do upgrade that. Micro actuators. Oh, we had some of those earlier, got destroyed. Micro actuators are pretty, uh, pretty decent. Hard to decide between, uh, our current analyses and uh, the analysis suites and the uh, micro actuators, though. I guess it'd be nicer if they were better than that. Oh, great Axe is what? A oh, delay of plus 75. Hmm. Would save a fair amount of time. And a full spear as well. Let's see. Um, Going to get rid of that leg. Put on a wheel. Switch to wheels. Now we have one inventory space free. <clears throat> I guess one question is, do we want, do we want an improved proton missile launcher? It's always kind of questionable. They're really good for certain builds, but um, <laughs> Vectus has now realized we have programmer couplers. And is wondering how we got them. The main thing about programmer couplers, there's only two ways to get them. Um, one is you attack Zion when they happen to have them already there and your uh, your rift. The other way is the whole one of the things about programmer couplers is they kind of might want to convince you to do a uh, a late uh, latter half of the game riff. So fortunately, our Zion was on seven depth seven, so we didn't have to worry too much. Oh, we didn't worry too much about going back very far, but um, uh, our first, as you can see, we just got rift uh, at this depth, and then we got speed back out again here. So, uh, no, they're totally not flavor. You can use it. People, have, that's not the first time either. I mean, I've seen other people do it. That was that was the the main intent was that the only way to get these clearly very good couplers is if you riff late, which means we aren't going to be able to combine it with quite as many abilities. Um, but, uh, yeah, it still could be definitely worth it. All right. So, hmm. Kind of want the proton missile launcher, but I'm afraid we won't be able to use it. It's kind of one of those things that I tend to keep around and use once we're like almost dead. Oh, we have a high capacity storage unit. I can drop that too. I didn't realize that was also in there. All right. All right I guess we're going to have space for it for now anyway. Technically, it's better when you have two of them, but we're not really going to be able to manage that, I don't think. Not with our low inventory. Huh. I say low inventory as I drop a high-capacity storage, which I guess we could even attach. Kind of our storage is inching upward. <laughs> I can imagine this happening. Yeah, Bad Emperor says that too. Just attach more storage. <laughs> We could keep this attached and then just start picking everything up. I'm sure we'll fill it before long. Humpback would actually be kind of nice to get back again, but now we're beyond humpbacks probably, unless we went into happen to get find them in like some scrap in the caves and scanalize it. High capacity. Oh. <clears throat> and we could get rid of one of our melee analysis suites. Right now, we are literally a melee riff bot, though. <laughs> kind of, um, <clears throat> and I'm kind of liking it. Uh, I I do rather enjoy melee combat. It gets uh, pretty tactical. I'll take a spare. Oh, check it out! It's a programmer. Was he dispatched? For what? He's just a. Why is he moving so fast? 
Huh. There's no dispatch, though. Hmm. All right, then. I think we might want to hack him. Unfortunately, that means I have to remove something, though. Oh well, I guess we're gonna move my analysis to sweep. Wow, getting excited there. I just wanted to get his attention before he ran away. <laughs> Our first programmer friend. Just watch, he's gonna like cause trouble. Um Damn, got another hit off. Programmer ally. Oh man. First time I've ever hacked a programmer. Next thing you need is if we got coupler um, efficiency, that would be awesome. Coupler efficiency plus the programmer couplers, because they're already really high, and you know you add another 10 or 20 if we get a couple of them. That's pretty awesome. Alright. Anyway, we now have a programmer friend. Sage 5A reactivates. Nice. He's like, why are you so slow, man? Zipping all over the place. Oh, look, a regular exit. And a scythe and a focal shield. And an engine. Oh, actually, we need that engine. Programmer here to make more friends. Sadly, we probably won't get an alert ID control. I mean, we can get lucky, but that would be pretty awesome to have with programmer friends. <laughs> Because then you're literally, your army could like just build on itself um, without causing problems. Hmm. Really can't take damage very well. We're going to get spotted in a second. <laughs> uh, it depends on where you go, Vectus. There's, it's possible. I mean, also, I mean, it, it takes 13. Later on, you can, you know, you meet groups of like three programmers in the late game. I mean, three programmers assimilating them would take more than half of one of these couplers. But yeah, it is harder to use them all. I mean, the idea was to have enough, to give the player enough through that encounter that you could if, effectively use them through much of the rest of your run. I mean, it has to be worth it, right? It, that's the, it has to be worth doing a later game riff, which otherwise people aren't necessarily inclined to do. Um, so obviously it's worth it because it, it has convinced more than one person to do this. All right. Um, oh, that's right. We were looking for garrisons, and we can do that by hacking a grunt. Whoops. All right. No terminal index for us. Let's see if our programmer friend can take this guy out. Probably not, but... Another exit. Oh, the caves. Hmm. Stop shooting my friend. Uh, I'd rather him shoot my friend than me. Oh, he's gonna hurt the programmer. Programmer is not... Oh, he's too... I just killed him. Is he too far away, maybe? I think he's too far away to hack. That's why. We can't attack guys at range. Need to do it up close. Um, <laughs> a lot more melee analysis. Yeah, you don't want them to engage people at range. That puts us at a disadvantage. Oh, you know what we need now? Now we need the mechanic. That's what we really need. Mechanic. Damn, he's gone. <laughs> he's way over there on the east side. Where are we going, actually? I guess we're going to another garrison, might as well. I mean, for more rift stuff, yeah. So, let's see. Katana. We don't have to worry about the programmer clock, at least. <laughs> Speaking of the programmer clock... I guess we'll see them coming, too. 
<laughs> yeah, jinxed it. <laughs> oh shoot. Didn't want to meet these guys right here. Having these two grunt couplers attached is really annoying. I, I, uh, I need to put on a swarmer coupler. We do have that one just sitting here doing nothing. And they're worth a lot. Let's make this very easy. Oh, there comes the other programmer. Looks like he's passing the other way. He's going to go all the way around. All right, we'll see you later, dude. We saw you. Shoot, I think it's too far over. Oh, here he comes. He's going to come through the wall. There he is. Crap. He repelled the first attempt. <laughs> Oh, ditch the NC. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, Bectus. Sorry, yeah, that was a good idea. I mean, we've got a lot of value, and the one we've got on is only 10 left. I, I wasn't paying attention to the number. I was just thinking it's our NC coupler. Yeah, good point. You can totally get rid of that if we need to. Now we don't need to, but... Hmm. Oh, this dude's a sage. He's only a hacker. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, replace the leg. Hmm. All right, so we're looking for a grunt is actually what we were trying to find so that we can find where the garrison is. Grunt will be able to tell us. Hmm. Anyway, we came in here to deal with all that stuff. Now we need to go back. Prototype protection. What is that? Is that a friggin... is it power armor? Mm, I can't attach it. <laughs> One mass prototype protection. Oh, or is it like an experimental core shielding or something like that? That must be it. Yeah, it's probably... Exper yeah, it's just some kind of experimental shielding. Probably core. Pretty good. Actually, our core is kind of lowish. Hmm. We don't really have space for that, though. Um, are there prototype powered armors? Aren't all, all the powered armors are prototype? I believe. Yeah, they should be. They're heavier than that, though. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're going to face off against this sentry, because I want to go south. Sentry time. Unfortunately, it means they're going to be out of range for hacking. But Whoops. Damn it. I was moving a little slow there. Fortunately, we got friends. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh, I had waste extra power in my inventory there. Change my mind. Let's check out what's in here. Um... Grab mag array. Power mall. Oh, it's a dead end. Hmm. Well, I mean, not really a dead end. There's exits. Just, wow, check out this line of exits. Three exits right next to each other. <sighs> Great. So, yeah, we're in a, a... Other than the fact that there's three ways out here, that we are in a dead end corner, at least. In terms of garrison count... DM would be nice. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true in terms of allies later on. It's probably not going to matter too much, though, because we have, you know, we can lower alert with the NC couplers. But, I mean, I, it doesn't hurt. 
Uh, of course, by going into the lower caves, we lose another ability, or a first ability, I guess. We could go into the caves here. Otherwise, it's going to take forever on this floor to find the exit. Um, I mean, a garrison, because we already took out two garrisons. And we're going to have to travel for probably some ways before we get there. It wouldn't be hard, though. I don't know. With Rift, one of the things is that you're, you're generally safer in the complex than in the caves. Also, our programmer couplers, we can't use them. We we'll, probably won't be using them in the caves. Mm, anyway, well, what does everyone else think? Just doing whatever anyway. Who votes that we look for another garrison? And who votes for uh, going into the caves to go find the data miner? We can do either one. On this floor, we'd end up, we're going to go back to the, uh, back to here. And then travel, oh well, actually south would be dangerous. Hmm. But anyway, we could go south and then try eat and head east-ish. But it looks like we're at a dead end here. We could maybe try to blast through the wall down here. Maybe get something. But um, we have done a garrison on this floor. This is the floor that we got our... Um, uh, we were sent back to this floor. This is the floor we got rift on. And it just spit us back out here. All right. Des and M and B send vote uh, DM so far. And fine stuff suggested. So I guess that's where we're headed. Let's do it. In we go with our two programmer friends. Everything else seems in okay-ish shape. Oh, let me think. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to jump in with a rocket launcher or not. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna bother. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Fine step is having the programmer coupler attached to the cave is kind of unfortunate because we're probably not going to use it throughout all this. It's going to waste our slot for us. I'm probably you can technically meet programmer patrols, but anyway, all right, we're going to go straight for the end then. I mean, rather than looking for other stuff. Just because our core is down to two thirds and our layout is not that great. What? Have you seen the researcher? Oh, there's a researcher out here. Hmm. That's like 33% of them. No, in the, in the, not really in the caves, Vectus. Um, they're not that common either, even in the complex, compared to the other ones. Oh, what's this researcher dude have, if we find him? Where is he? He might have been off to the other side. There's some kind of indication of where he is. I think there was anyway. Maybe there wasn't. No, I think it requires sensors. Otherwise, you just blow everything up or chop through a bunch of walls. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It's the uh, the dimensional node initializer. Yeah, it's not the other one that I would prefer to have. I want the core expander. But the core expander one is not this one, right? This is the DNI. I don't really care as much for that. Not on this run anyway. It could be useful though. Um, yeah, in order to find this one, you pretty much need sensors. Or you just spend a lot of time chopping through walls. It's possible, but then you might meet patrols coming by. So. We don't have sensors, though. Oh, no. First of all, wow, that, that Sage just dropped three couplers. <laughs> he had three couplers on him. That is awesome. That was that Sage was a, uh, a coupler squad. Oh, he's got a hunter coupler. Damn. I'm going to pick that up. <laughs> he just dropped four couplers. That was pretty awesome. Um, 
unfortunately, there's a behemoth around the corner. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No, it's fortunate. It's fortunate, it's fortunate. Too bad he had to kill our friend, but I'm going to hack this behemoth now. Wolf time. Boom. Oh, wow. I've never gotten that achievement. I just got a new achievement. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I didn't know I didn't have that achievement. I guess, yeah, I hadn't done this since. Anyway. All right. Cool. We got this. <laughs> Damn. Too bad he had to kill our, our sage friend. But at least our sage had some cool copies. So, yeah, woof, woof, there we go. We got the woof achievement. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. No, I don't normally reset my progress. Um, I didn't start maintaining progress, though, until Cogline released on, on Steam. I, or no, wait, actually, no, I think I copied from Alpha. I didn't actually save all my earliest stuff, though. Um, the very earliest alphas. But this in particular was added later anyway. Uh, I just didn't get that achievement before. I don't think I've, I probably just haven't done it before. But yeah, it's an event. We got it earlier uh, on the stream. Uh, right before we were going to leave the proxy caves, too. So good find, useful. I didn't want to face this guy. Anyway, so <laughs> nice for getting rid of them. All right. Um, oh, and also these these couplers on the ground. I want to pick up now. Yeah. Century coupler. Not gonna need them as much, but oh, ha! <laughs> uh, how do you get corrupted? Um, hmm. Anyway, he got corrupted, and our, our friend has now cleaned his corruption. Here's our dead friend's improved remote data jack. We don't really need that. Actually, wait a minute. It's in better shape than ours. Okay, we're going to take that. <laughs> Grunt coupler, swarmer. I think we can probably leave the swarmer because we already have an, a decent one spare for that. And, oh, that's... Hmm. Grunt coupler. The other option is to get rid of our final melee analysis, but I don't know. I don't want to relax. I want to have a tiny bit of combat potential left that's my, i think that's the downfall of a lot of my uh and not that a lot of them have fallen but the downfall of my rift builds is that i start i spec so much into the rift part of it and then if something goes wrong i don't have enough potential to fight my way out of it um that it seems to be a problem so i need to try and avoid that urge certainly this early too i mean we don't have a lot of utility Overall, grunt. I don't want this grunt coupler though. 22. I mean, it's grunts, right? We're still carrying the field lobotomy kit, which only has one shot left in it. Actually, we could have used the FLK on this guy too. Either one would have worked. In fact, maybe we should have used the FLK. No, never mind. That can work on anyone though. Yeah. That, I guess one advantage is it would free up an inventory slot. Hmm. Anyway, oh, that's right. We have two matter storage. We don't need. We barely even need one, to be honest. In fact, we don't even need one. <laughs> Get rid of that. All right. Go. Uh, a squirt says go hard on Riff. Eh. Oh yeah, we're carrying right now. We're also carrying four NC couplers. Oh yeah, we also have that one attached. Right, right. I know. We're gonna get rid of that right now. In fact. In fact, we can get rid of it right now and attach a swarmer coupler just so we have something attached. We're likely to meet swarmers anyway. And plus, we've got space, so. All right, another beast is in the way. Um, yes, uh, we did get rid of it, Vectus. I saw it. your comment. <laughs> um, no, I don't reset my lore stuff. I just, uh, or um, Ace was asking. I, uh, what is it? It was just early, an early alpha I did that, but I, I didn't do that later. I don't actually go for lore particularly, though. Um, so I'm still missing a, a certain a number of those things. Plus the gallery, too. I don't fill my gallery. I don't know what actually I have in terms of how complete are my records even. Like the gallery, my gallery is 74% complete. Not super high, considering. But that's mainly because I don't pick up stuff just to put in the gallery. But 
and lore collection. My lore is 32%. You can't see it on the stream because remember, I, the bottom of my screen cuts off. But yeah, I have only 32% lore. Very low lore account. Super low. <laughs> but that's it. I wrote the lore. I know the lore. <laughs> Achievements are, are pretty good, though. 76%. Pretty decent. Not really achievement hunting either, though. I just get stuff inc incidentally for the most part. We did do achievement hunting when I did melee runs. All right, we now got our friend here. He's going to bark up a storm and kill everyone. We do have to also worry about bringing... Oh, it looks like he killed some people over here. Oh, that's how he got corrupted. He killed a squad already. Fortunately, he's still at full health, but he killed a bunch of derelicts. Probably a mutant had a, like a um, one of their riot guns or whatever, and corrupted him. That's what happened. All right, well, we don't have to worry about. It. We're gonna chop open a route for our friend to follow, but this is a dead end, so he doesn't need to follow down here. Where are we going? We're going back north. I was wondering how he got corrupted. That answers that. Yeah, I don't really need any of that stuff. Wait, where the heck? Oh, we need to go back south. I'm going the wrong way. South it is. We can go show the data miner our friend. Oh, damn. Here we go. Ooh, I want the veteran. Alright, I guess... The question here is, do we want him permanent or temporary? If we take him permanent, he's probably just going to die anyway, which means it's a waste. So I think we should probably just take him temporary. Be safer. <clears throat> um, that hack in particular, Vectus, it's only for behemoths. It's a, it's a behemoth targeting hack made by a, a particular derelict. What? Oh, someone told you that in Discord today, Vectus? So apparently someone told Vectus to uh, launch grenades into dead ends and pray in the caves. Um, no, they weren't lying to you. It can totally work. Um, it depends on the where you are, though. The, the only reason you would really want to do that is if, uh, for example, there is a behemoth and you're trying to go around it or, or some other obstacle or danger. But um, uh, the reason I could tell we hadn't explored all the way down here, so I figured it's quite likely we can go around this way. But the thing is, there's often only one way forward in caves. I mean, there can be two in smaller areas like this. But if um, but if there's like an enemy here, kind of like a bottleneck, and you don't want them to see you, you can look for, like for example, we could have, if we didn't know what this was on the left side, you can test some of the walls along here, and you might be able to make it through the north and cut around. So... There is definitely in the caves, chopping through walls is a very common uh, and useful strategy. Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> <Huh. sighs> also, whoa. Resets him. Behavior restored. Did he become a permanent ally? Anyway. Damn. Friggin' yeah, get woof. That He just killed our programmer. <laughs> Bastard. Um, shoot, I missed. Sheesh. Um, I'm gonna reboot that guy. Oh, damn. I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> Our programmer turned the temporary ally into a permanent one. I didn't know that was even possible. <laughs> huh. This guy right here, he's a permanent ally now. You can see that on the... Over here. Um, right here, I, re I did the, the rewrite, and our hacker, right before he got destroyed, 
reset him and restored his behavior. Huh. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a cool synergy. And I had no idea that was possible. Yeah, he... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As Kira's Bray said, he may be permanent, but he's not long for this world. He's going to die in a second. But, but that's cool, knowing that if you can really get programmer allies and temporarily hack enemies... They could, you know, your programmers could work to make them permanent friends, which is awesome because it's a lot cheaper. Wow. Okay. Um, he's permanent now. That's pretty cool. It was just that's a side effect of programmers. I didn't actually code that as as an intentional feature. That's just a side effect of how programmers treat um, AIs that have been temporarily uh, reset. Hmm. It was meant for enemies, enemy programmers that can do that to um, take back over their friends, but apparently your friends can do that Hmm. in order to keep them. All right, that's cool. Allied programmers are as good as we think they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, where's our behemoth friend? He's probably roaming off now. There he is. He was trying to get to us. Okay. Are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Did there, is it, no? Hmm. He was just waiting around. All right. Heavy armor would be very nice. Um, too bad we're kind of full. <laughs> the programmer transferred his consciousness into the grunt to live on after getting woofed. Yeah, really. Um, yeah, exactly. A squared. The reset is meant for them to be able to get the bot back on their side. But that was a t as a temporarily switched bot. Putting him back on our side made it permanently on our side. So anyway, that was useful. Too bad he's dead now. We lost both of our programmers. They were pretty good, though. Definitely. I especially like the Sage, who friggin' gave us a bunch of couplers, too. <laughs> and and a data, I fixed our data jack and everything. It's awesome. All right, well, finally done with this one. We've only got one friend left, though. I felt safer when we had programmers, but I guess I feel pretty safe with this guy. Is he even hurt yet? He is still in perfect shape. Yeah, let's go into the next map and destroy things. We're now a bot hacker mutant. All right. <clears throat> Anybody here? Nope. Um, Core, for anyone who, didn't, who missed that part, uh, Core is asking, how did we get the uh, uh, programmer relay couplers? So uh, we got them in... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like this is asking that too. They, they came from Zion. Yeah, there's an event in Zion. You can get them there. That's the only way. All right, so onward towards Data Miner. Oh, a derelict log. Hypervelocity Gauss. Spiked medium treads. Oh, check it out. The Minesweeper down here. We can actually hack him with an NC coupler that we ripped off earlier. Vectis? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can hack him, though. And if you hack him, they can, uh, they can help you um, disarm mines and stuff. And even collect them and give them to you. Hmm. He's forking. Hmm. I don't really need to mess with him. You can get mines. You can get good traps from him, but... ARC discovered. Swarmers discovered.
Against my better judgment, I'm gonna stand next to a behemoth target. Alright, we have one Swarmer friend. <laughs> Back this. <laughs> Alright, um... Chop through here. It's nice being able to chop through stuff and not having engineers come and fix it all. You can chop all you want through the caves. We're getting close. That's a dead end. Well, close-ish. Looks like we still have to go back around. Oh. Alright. Well, as cool as that is, it would also mean the death of our behemoth, probably. Maybe. Or the death of the outpost. There's an outpost right here. And Mr. Behemoth is probably going to have trouble getting by the outpost without getting spotted. Maybe. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I should have known. I should have told the swarmer to be a little more careful. <laughs> oh man. Exciting times. Yes, outpost. Here we are. A stupid swarmer. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Deal with these guys. Yep, he didn't last long. Sentinel was destroyed almost immediately. <laughs> Oh shoot, can our behemoth not get over here? I didn't notice there might I don't oh shoot, I think I left one too many things over there. Oh no, that would suck. Um Damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to check this real quick. What is this thing? 31 damage. This is wall at 28. Kind of annoying. Mm. My bad, I missed this piece. Did not realize that was a problem. What's he doing? Oh shoot, wrong button. I well not wrong button. I had the wrong thing to attach there. Anyway, that was a little harder than I wanted it to be, mainly because I missed that one little piece up there. Uh, didn't realize he couldn't get through. Anyway, uh, yeah, good to get rid of some couplers anyway. Also, we shoot. Oh, no, I need that. I did not notice I need this leg. 
there anything else left? Not really. I need gonna have to put on our wheel in a second. I'm gonna get low on prop. Never mind, yay, we have treads. Alright, I am going to do the wheel now, I think. Bring the treads with us for sure. Yeah, now we get to see if there's anything good in here. Oh, that's true. There's this. Dude got in the way. You can find stuff on the terminals. Completed repairs. Yes, that's useful. No. If all these, notice that, except for the first one here, all these other records have an X at the end. Anything with an X at the end actually gives you intel. Um, oh, oh, damn. We can get traced of this. Whatever. Trace me. Damn, I did not realize that. Anyway, we found exits and stuff. Good. <sighs> Interesting that we're going to get an investigation in here. <laughs> uh, whoa, it's a KE penetrator? Wait. Oh, that's what that dude was using over there. <laughs> that's what the, the sentry had before he died unceremoniously. We got him killed really fast. A lot of sh high-powered shock rifles. These are actually really good, too. Hmm. We're still a melee bot technically. I'm actually kind of liking this. We're gonna end up losing this role before long now, probably. Unless we get some more uh, related parts. Oh, we need a power source. Micro fission core. And I want the penetrator, I'll take that. All right, so the cannon did come in handy so far. We did get to manage to use that once. So yeah, having that that was Swarmer ally, <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. A decoder chip. Hmm. I haven't used one of those. It'd be kind of fun to have. It doesn't work here. It doesn't only works when you're in. Uh, complex itself, but decoder chips can actually be pretty neat with the intel they give you. Of course, technically, we also have Farcom, so it's not as important, but it can give you interesting stuff. If we didn't have Farcom, I'm going to go bother with that. If we didn't have Farcom, I'd probably try it out. Uh, oh, okay. We can't really hack this swarmer. Don't kill my behemoth. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, they totally ripped our beast apart. Hmm. Swarmers, very scary in groups. <laughs> Man, we're gonna have to go back through the proxy caves. Uh, we'll probably get some help though, but yeah, we're at 381 core. Quite true, Vectus. Experimental core shielding doesn't sound too bad now. I was thinking about that earlier, even. Oh, shoot. Under attack. Uh... There's a squad. There's a sentry and a grunt. Oh, he crushed somebody and they died. Figured that was going to happen. Hmm. He dropped his treads. Oh, shoot. We're not on the wheel. Whoops. We're moving slow. My bad. Too bad, we lost him. Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh, it's coming this way. I thought we might have been able to miss it, maybe. Uh, I'm not quite sure if we should put on our data jack or not yet. Hmm, I guess the missile's the right choice here. Even though it's gonna, yeah, open up the wall and more guys are gonna come, but. All right, we lost a swarmer coupler. <clears throat> we also lost our chainsword. 
Not good. Three grunts. Crap. Um. Damn, now I wish I had that armor over there. <laughs> Ran out of energy. Which is the kind of thing that happens when you fire proton missiles. <laughs> Killed them for me. Do as I say. They're both almost dead. They both have literally one core left. <laughs> All right, that's amusing. Um, oh, so we have a spare great axe. We get double great axes. Kill them already, man. Yeesh. Wow. I was going to pick up the power source. It got fried right before I did that. Shoot, our proton missile got launched, got hit at the end there. <sighs> Not good. What are these at? 64. Actually, we need a cat. We have, we have room for the treads anyway. Might as well pick them up. Okay, now we're friendless. Oh, shoot. Not only are we friendless, we've got an enemy coming. Hmm. Got away from him for now. Slipped away. Not always a safe thing to do because there could be more enemies ahead, then you have to face more enemies. Makeshift armor plating. More unknown storage. Core is at 315. Oh, data miner, where are you? Close. The exit is either to the south of us, it's probably the south of us, or over here to the east of it. I think it's to the south, though. Looks like we're... Oh, damn. Lucky you came over here, then. Didn't go back down there yet. Could have been in either spot. Finally. <laughs> Come here, data miner, great axes with your name on them. No, no, no. I don't want to be mean to data miner. I didn't remember which terminals we were supposed to hack. I just hacked them all. It's fun to do anyway. Get to feel like a hacker hacking all kinds of stuff. All right, data miner, goodbye. Data miner is a criminal. You're the law. No, I'm not going to kill data miner. <laughs> we'll just die, especially considering what would happen at the. Oh, it depends on how what you do after you kill him. But <laughs> this is right, you know. <laughs> yeah, it could. We could do that. We could have actually done that just as a way to end the run, because <laughs> the stream is coming to a close shortly. I figure we'll make it through here then instead, though. Could have ended it, that's true. We would die, though, for sure. Almost for sure. Without really getting much for it. <laughs> Especially since I'm not a hacker, so what do you do?
don't really want trackers. Factory stockpiles. Ooh, nice. Uh, an AR. Shoot. I was just going to say an ARC opened here. Sure enough, there's what it dropped. You know what? I completely shot the wrong thing. <laughs> I thought I had my proton missile attached. Great, now I lost my leg or wheel. That's what I was gonna do. I don't even ARC behind us. You know, I'd really like to hack that hunter behind us. Unfortunately, he's getting his butt kicked. Swarmer's gonna come over here in a second. Oh, you only egg me on because you're too scared to try it yourself? Yeah, really. There's only one of them, very small. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something I'm... Where did that sentry go? Or this swarmer go? He's left. Huh, funny. Oh, he's back again. <laughs> okay, then. I was going to say is... Long-range charger, no. Um, I thought that might have been a Taurian scanner. There's a nice processor here. I would probably do that. Saw that I saw that there was an ARC open, which I mean there were definitely some enemies nearby. A Tesla rifle sitting in this scrap heap. Hmm. Actually, we're getting low. I'm gonna pick that up. System shield. And wow, a system shield <laughs> and a hacking suite in the same stockpile. I'm going to grab the hacking suite just for the hell of it, in case we need it before our inventory needs to make room. We're close to the exit. Shoot. All right, we're close to the exit, then another friggin' group pops up. All right, there's only, all we have is four left on our grunt coupler. No, we have a whole other grunt coupler. Damn. All right, then. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull stuff off to use this. I'm going to have to take my armor off. Just for a second. We want the veteran. Oh, actually, I kind of want to amplify resonance. First, we're going to overwrite IFF. Then we're going to put our armor back on. Um, so layered armor. Then we're getting ready to amplify resonance in a second. As soon as he's close to dead. Let's do it now. All right, he survived. Good. Perfect. Worked out nicely. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Oh, damn. More enemies. We have 12 left on our grunt coupler. 12. The exit's right around the corner. Looks like we got this. He's going to cover our retreat. Do it! Man, going to annihilate those guys. Nope, nope, they're going to get him. He's dead. Oh, look at that. Another minesweeper. Hmm. Boom, we finally made it back. Sheesh. All right. We're just going to go utility since we do need room for couplers as this... Rift build. Still melee rift too. Pretty interesting. Melee rift. That has been our route. And what else do we know? Oh yeah, we knew that. Um. Hmm. Well, I didn't exactly expect to necessarily survive, but. It's been interesting just doing today whatever it felt like doing, and this is where we've ended up with a mostly melee run so far. Melee and Riff and Farcom. Riff Farcom. 
And I guess they, and the whole, that all pivoted on the uh, programmers uh, couplers, which so far have been pretty cool. We have one attached though. We've only used half of one of our programmer couplers and our programmer friends did really well for us. So um, yeah, uh, we will continue this stream next week then with our programmer couplers. Uh, riff, for, uh, I read all down what that actually was. Anyway, so it started out as, yep, just uh, Cogmine and Chill, and then we've got programmer couplers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by Vectus, Beeson, everybody. And, um, hey, we'll just continue from here where we, uh, uh, next, next week, same time. Pick it up again. Until then, I will see you in chat, and uh, thanks for watching.